was enjoying that story. No, no, perfectly fine. That sounded quite interesting. Oh, sweet lord, that's bright. It's, <coughs> it's, uh, it's a film, uh, Stripes. Stripes? With, uh, yeah, with, uh, Bill Murray and Harold Ramis, who uh, did also uh, the Ghostbusters. Yes. Was in the, uh, it was in the earlier years. That's um, uh, It's about two American, uh, you know, uh, failures in society who uh, decided in desperation to join the army. It actually sounds familiar. Did it come out in like the late 80s? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds familiar. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a fun, it's a fun film. It, it takes, you know... There are a lot of things happening in there. How's you today, dude? I'm okay. Mm. Yeah. Continue. Yeah, now I'm alright. I, I uh, had the Volvo serviced. No, oh, ouch. Th three grand later. It hurts. It hurts. And I still gotta do the other car at some other stage. It's gonna suck. Welcome to being an adult. Adulting sucks. <laughs> this is not the adulting I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Apparently, it's how you pronounce it that matters. <laughs> yeah. So, you've been reading the news? I uh, yeah, have been watching the news on YouTube. Yeah. 200 malls across yeah. South Africa, either looted, burned, or both. Yeah, and I've seen a lot of pictures of the, the hungry and needful people who... Yeah. You know, stealing 52-inch TVs that can't fit them in their cars. And oh, the needful hungry it. people in the Merc that pulled up to Woolies and stole two hey, basketfuls of food. Yeah, right. Did you see that? Was this the one with the guy with a 58-inch TV that couldn't fit it into his silver? Master? Yes, and I shared it with, the, with okay. the image of the of the toy for the blocks that somebody, fit. <laughs> somebody put that to the tune of Coldplay's Fix You. <laughs> where, you, where you get what you want but not what you need yes <laughs> try so hard but you don't succeed <laughs> i was like oh and the, the one comment was actually saying you know what up until the song started playing you know what it took the song to start playing to make me feel sad for that looter <laughs> <laughs> hey the shoulds how you doing like, okay. hey eric yeah, munition says hey you're an adult. Everything sucks. Yeah, not everything. Yeah, wife definitely doesn't. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> uh, Weevil, are you, are you streaming? No. Oh, excuse me, guys. I've got to go speak no. to my wife. No? <laughs> I speak, I mean, be spoken at. Yes, shout to uh, that. Okay. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, all right. I, I don't see any real difference in, in mindset, but uh, I guess it is always polite to let you know that I am streaming. Yes, my apologies. No problem. Oof. Suddenly everyone goes quiet. I, I didn't go quiet. I'm concentrating. Are you trying to read without moving your lips again? No. <laughs> You'll get there. Uh, one day, continue. one day, when I'm a big boy, everything is still a bit slow, but a million times better. Ah, oh, dude, that is so good to hear. Oh, is this a new GFX? No, 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 MX, uh, munitions. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, it's got to do, you know, he wasn't feeling too well, and chest was sore, oh, and all okay. that stuff. Sorry. So health-wise, yeah. So he seems to be better, which is fantastic. Which is fantasticals. Fantasticals. Yes. Oh. The, other <laughs> the other option would be fantastic, which is a bit like lots of fun, but with far more class. Ah. I need to go to... Ah, I'm going the wrong way. Get on my horse. That's not a horse. Anyway. I'm gonna ride it on my horse. It's a... Uh, it's a cat. Battle cats. Oh. Yeah, that's one. I saw a funny little meme between, what's it, uh, Princess Layla, or whatever her name is from Master's, uh, He-Man. Mm -hmm. Layla, Layla, Leela, Princess Layla. 
you know, the one that fights with, with He-Man. Um, and she goes, He-Man said he loves me. And then there's uh, Battle Cat going, well, I'm the one he rides all day. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, oh. It's like that, is it? <laughs> Well, he's not wrong. <laughs> he's he's not. <laughs> oh, poor Cringer. <sighs> that cat suffers from some severe bipolar issues. Mm -hmm. Let's see if there are some interesting movies coming on TV that I can record. What sort of things do you watch? It's Dutch TV, oh. don't ask. Ah. No, it's, uh, you know, it varies. <laughs> yeah, pretty much if it's well written or well, you know, done, then generally almost anything. Well, I watched, uh, like I said, uh, Stripes, I like. Yes, yeah. There's also one uh, that, um, Oh, what's the what's the other comedian uh, name uh, did? Uh, Steve, 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 no. Uh, Steve Martin. Yeah. Steve. That was it. <laughs> Steve Martin. Yeah. Also about uh, about the army, about a sergeant who is. Uh, sergeant Bilko. Yes. Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that is a classic. <laughs> yeah. You cannot uh, go wrong with that. And uh, and the credits start w starts with we would like to thank the United States Army for that total lack of cooperation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because they didn't uh, cooperate at all. Because a few songs to your teams on Discord. I have some great ones that can't be played on radio. Cool, dude. Send me the links. I'll check them out. I think he's sending me some music. It's gonna be good. Music. Bolsack. Music. Muzak, Muzak, Muzak. Colin Air is coming. <coughs> Ooh. That was an awesome movie. Man. Oh, Put Spider the Bernie in the box. <laughs> uh, Spider-Man, which is... Which is Spider-Man? Mm. Is oh, with Tobey Maguire. Yeah. Mm. That might be fun to watch. Anybody who thinks that Nicolas Cage can't act needs to watch that movie and just see the amount of threat and intent he puts into lines like that. Yeah, <laughs> that's like, yeah, I wouldn't have been able to carry that off. No, what I, 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 my favorite so far about about two years back on one of like the horror forums because you know he was going through a whole bout of like uh, bizarre horror movies and you know weird things. Well, he still does, but I mean, it was there was particularly odd with Mandy and uh, Color Out of Space and uh, a few others along the way, and they said like, no, imagine. People are like, oh no, Nicolas Cage. You know, you can't say no to a role. It's, and someone said, no, it's actually even better than that. Imagine an alternate universe, Nicolas Cage, where this is actually happening to this character, and this is how he reacts. So just think of it as like parallel universe, Nicolas Cage in that movie. You know, that's what's happening to him in every in every instance. So you've got this one man doomed to you know, go through a million different circumstances of, of a what-if story. What if something happened to Nicolas Cage like this? What if he had to fight off aliens? What if, you know, he had to fight ex, you know, possessed nuns from hell, you know? And it's like, mm -hmm. that's that's it, it. That's it. It's not actually a movie. It's just someone's got a little portal thing. Have you seen Rick and Morty? Mm -hmm. Where he has that little, that, that little TV yeah. thing that shows alternate realities? It's that. That's what it is. <laughs> and it just makes all of his movies so much more fun to watch now. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I've always yeah. liked Nicolas Cage, though. I'll be right back, guys. I'm yeah. Set the corner yeah. Now. Well, the next the next movie he's in is called Pig. <laughs> well, think think of it as Taken, except not with Liam Neeson. It's with Nicolas Cage, uh, Nicolas Cage, oh, and no. his pig gets stolen. He basically goes out into the wilderness and he lives in the forest with his pig and uh, finds truffles or something. You know, that's from what yeah. I can tell from the trailer. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, 
How far am I in this thing? Peter and the Wolf. Burton on the Ritz. Ah, boo. It sounded like Peter and the Wolf, uh, the orchestra version. Oh, I'm interested how much stuff did you send me? Okay, I'm going to quickly have a look. I won't look at, I won't play them now, but I will have a quick peek. Muck sticky, oh no. Kevin Bloody Wilson. Kevin Bloody Wilson. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Gotcha. Uh, no what more links did he send you for? SoundCloud or Spotify? Uh, YouTube. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'll check him out. <laughs> oh, that reminds me actually. Mm -hmm. Have you heard that there's a digital rights management free version of Pornhub out there now? Digital rights free. Yeah, DRM free. Because you know Spotify is all DRM free music. Okay. So there's no copyright on it. You can use it. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a version of there's a same sort of thing, but for Pornhub. <laughs> it's called Stickify. Stickify. <laughs> oh no. Ah. Uh. I need more people and more stuff to steal, damn it. Everyone's still stealing stuff. It's ridiculous. There's nothing left to steal around here. Oh, I feel really good then, because that means that I got the the stealing done before everybody else started with it. Yeah. Well, I've got like 20 more to go, then I'm done. But like, I'm going everywhere, and like, people have been attacked because they've been caught, and like, amateurs! <laughs> Bastion, get out of the way. You're stopping me from speaking to my banker. Who's that? Ah, it's Rob. It's a wild Rob. Quick, get it. Get it. Burn it with flame. Pardon me, please. Well, I don't, I don't have a lot of fuel, so we're like a lighter work. You know, we just hold them over it, back and forth a little bit until eventually it's all nice and crispy. Maybe. Things a little. Ah, uh, don't joke. I actually remember watching a movie a couple of, from actually quite a few years ago, uh, where they uh, tortured a bunch of kids, or kids, boys, young men, uh, like that. You know, they basically had them suspended over a candle, and they literally just held them over by his junk and just cooked him. Yeah. yeah, what was it called? Uh... Pleasantful. <laughs> oh, you know the way you sound said that, it made me think of... Uh, what was it? Dungeon Master? Dungeon Keeper? Yes. Where at the very end, where, you know, you, you finally succeed in despoiling the countryside. Yeah. And that voice comes back and goes, Writhe hole. <laughs> this decrepit, dank citizen. You know, the citizens are always miserable, you know. <laughs> yes. Pleasant fill. Where everybody suffers from facing ache, uh, uh, what aching facial muscles, and not anthrax like we had hoped. <laughs> uh, but uh, 140 Nights of Sodom? Okay. I think it's called something like that. The it's it's dis, uh, a Dassault novel. On. Yeah, I was gonna say, isn't 120 Days of Sodom? Yes. Dassault's magnus opus. Yes, it is a. It was shot in the 1970s, and uh, pretty much the, it's like shortly after like the it's it's done shortly after World War Two is done, or just prior to the start of World War Two. Where like Italy is already, I 
I yeah, think. I'm going to nod my head and smile here. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think anyway because it is Italian. It's Ooh, an Italian yes, movie. Really time of trouble. Uh, anyway. Is Mussolini still in charge or no? <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, so basically what happens is a whole bunch of boys and girls get rounded up from their families and they disappear. And uh, over the course of like 120 days, you know, they get put through the ringer of torture and sexual depravity and, you know, a lot of them. In fact, I think about all of them except for like two actually survive the, the, the ordeal. Good times. Yeah. It's uh. Mm. It's an interesting movie to watch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Clearly left its mark. It did, actually. Especially the last scene, you know, where they tortured the last surviving boys. Mm. Uh, yeah. It was very well done for a movie that was shot in the 70s. I'll, I, I gotta say. Oh, no, man. We've got someone here in the zone going, Hey, I'm live on Twitch. If you want to come say hello at twitch. I'm not even oh. going to bother saying his name. That little He's fucker. He's not allowed to do that, though. That's 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 not, not good. Yeah, you, it should actually block out hyperlinks in the chat. Well, he's not... He doesn't have the hyperlink. It's he's just literally... Done it cunningly. Yeah, it's oh, just okay. it's just typed in. But, yeah, very sneaky. You could be a bitch and report him. I could. And look at it Don't this worry. way. That Someone would be will. one last, one less competitor, Nick. <laughs> That's right. They're not ruthless. <laughs> Take out the competition. <laughs> be just saying. Uh, I... Be a top Twitch streamer by being a nice person. So the Twitch, Twitch streamer is about community and working together. Yes, your community. <laughs> Fuck his one. <laughs> Twitch streamers supposed <laughs> to stick <Yes>. together. <laughs> Murderize him. <laughs> I am sticking together with you. Let's Gang up on him. Let's get him. I've picked my side in this war. <laughs> I know who my friends are. Well, they're the ones that stab me in the front. What are I we know doing? Who today? my friends are, and then there's you. you <laughs> ah, there we. Oh, there we go. And I'm back. Oh, you back. missed the whole conversation. Oh, oh well, just as well, oh. perhaps. What, <laughs> just what, as well. Why? Why? Why did you? What's about me? Uh, no, no, no. We're no, talking about movie recommendations. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you recommend? No, no. We, we were talking about uh, uh, cooking Rob over a fire, and then we said, like, oh, no, we don't have enough uh, fuel for that, so we'll have to hold him over a candle. And then that made me think of a movie. Uh, then we went into the and discussion. And then we went on to murder other Twitch streamers. Yeah. Something we, like that, right, guys? Murder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Murder. Yes, murder. Just disincentivize, demonetize. Uh, remove from the competition pool. Cancel, 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 cancel. Dude, stop turning. Stay there. Don't move. This will only pinch a little. Ah, there we go. Oh, oh my. What's up? I just got. Uh, no, I got. I got one shot that I was. Not, I was not expecting that. <laughs> running around Imperial City ran into a boss but like it wasn't a major boss and they just mm -hmm. one shot at me <laughs> so whoops I was just passing through <laughs> yeah his sword <laughs> <laughs> well as it turns out it was flame so I guess the candle got me in the end <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's Serpentipity? No, serpentipity. Serendipitous? Serendipitous. There we go. Serendipity. <laughs> Oblati, Oblata. Ah, life goes <laughs> on. Yeah. Do, 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 hey, do, do, here's do. a question for you. Who? What? Why do the Flintstones prefer holiday Dad joke in incoming. <laughs> Abu Dhabi and not Doha? Abu Dhabi. Oh, okay. Do? Why? <laughs> Doha don't like the Sims Flintstones, but Abu Dhabi do. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was an Abu Dhabi do thing there somewhere. <laughs> I'm here all week. Try the veal. Uh, that's not a veal. <laughs> we 
done the endeavors. What's the date? Kill ten beasts. Okay. Oh, oh sure. have I got her? Pick two locks. It's easier. I already and picked one. Eight resources. I already done that one. Something else. I'm killing wolves and Viago by the beach. There's a lot of dead creatures around here too. It's like everything's barren. You like pina colada? Do do do. Getting caught in the rain. Hmm. A doom doom doom. Oh wait, I can carry on with this, eh? If you're not into Mozart, if you have half a brain. <laughs> a doom doom doom. It's doom. how much of this I've actually got stuck in my <laughs> head. That will not leave. Huh? Where's the bloody mute button? Where you need it? <laughs> I would really like to know, but as you may have heard when I said it the first time, it's stuck in my brain. I can't find the goddamn mute button. It's in my brain. Insane in, in the membrane. It's in my head. In my head. In my head. All right, what should I do now? Mm hmm. Yeah. What? Good question. Mm. You cannot log out while in combat. That was on like second two, like something. Ugh. So fucking got you cover as well. I like killing the right creatures. Better be killing the right creatures. Beasts. Okay. Actual beasts. Like wolves. Alright. <sighs> yeah, woofy, woofy, woofy. Hey, this character has no quests. How the hell is that possible? You've been very industrious. Hmm. So I played like three hours of Subnautica today, you know, like rebuilding everything that I lost because I forgot to save the game etc etc and the amount of times that you head into like the deeper areas like uh, 100 meters or deeper and you only have an air tank that has like 30 seconds or is it 60 it's 60 seconds but at 100 meters you need about 20 of those seconds to get back to you the know surface. the surface <laughs> <laughs> and the, the amount of times like I dive down and I get to the bottom and I spend about five to six seconds looking for something right or trying to open something and uh, and then I'm like I've just gone past the amount of time that I need to get back up and I start swimming to the top again as quickly as possible and I start <laughs> almost blanking out like the the timer is gone right and it's like you have about a second maybe two after it's reached zero before you blank out and then you drown Right, and then it goes like, well, look, you've been revived and you've lost some items. You know, carry on going. And the mud times I've almost blanked out. I've done it twice now where I have completely. But I was uh, swimming to the top. I was like, you're just right there. And it's like, you could just break the surface. And then like, nope, <laughs> gloop. And you just start sinking down again. And you wake up back in your pod. <laughs> but, thank uh, you for trying. Yeah, so. thank you for trying. But I made a mistake. Uh, well, it was pretty stupid but I was out in, in an area that was a lot deeper and I built a little seamoth which is a dinky little sub and you can use that to refill your air you know so you can swim back to it jump into it and then it you know, re repressurizes and um, I was in like this Two seconds, guys. fungal forest place whatever and I climbed out of the seamoth and I swam down to one side to look at stuff and do some research, whatever else. And I was like, okay, I got 30 seconds. I'll start heading back to the seamoth. And I couldn't find it. I had no heads up display because it was within 10 meters of me. But I couldn't see it. And drowned. So I reappear at the pod and I'm like, cool. 
all right, so I've lost some stuff. Where's my Seamoth? That's like one kilometer away from me. I'm like, okay. So I start swimming out, like out in the open deep sea, you know, with just me to go get my little sub back. And then I still have to dive down 140 meters down to get to it. Man. The open water is scary. It just makes me want to swim in the sea less, you know. since I saw Jaws I've wanted to swim in the sea less <laughs> that's actually true was it Jaws was it Jaws 2 or Jaws 3 I think came out during our time but um, weirdly enough it was a James Bond movie that made me want to not swim in a pool because they had sharks in their pools the freaking lasers uh, thun Thunderball there we go Thunderball was, oh, the, yeah. under was the underwater one and yeah. uh, James Bond gets uh, like closed in a pool and they open the thing to the it's like the shark tank and it's like oh great thanks that's just scarred me for life sharks and pools this is exactly <laughs> what I want as a kid yeah not cool Stealing. Here we go. Oh, me. For worse than a damn kinder if it's not freaking nailed down I'm trying to steal it
Yay, weekly had never done. Woohoo. What I'd do was kill a vagabond and steal one item off of him. Could have just asked nicely. I did, but apparently someone already stole the three items off him and didn't kill him, so he would respawn with new items. The common courtesy to kill people that you've once stolen everything from, right? Amateurs. You're right. Disgusting, prosthetic nose. A false nose with what appears to be a large, hairy boil at the end of it. It could be resold to an actor or perhaps a spy. <laughs> hmm, methinks the guy you ganked isn't so innocent after all. <laughs> Bennett, yo, how you doing today, man? Uh, see that you were on figure out stop and say hi. We're waiting for this DoorDash order. Taking forever. <laughs> DoorDash, okay, that would be the equivalent of like Uber Eats and stuff, right? Well, I hope it's still hot when it gets there. Who's our kitty cat? Concentrating going on. Some people are trying to sell stuff for ludicrous prices. Are you buying them? <laughs> Not the one with ludicrous prices. <laughs> mm. I mean, here. TTC says 8.5k to 10k. Somebody is trying to sell it for 30k. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, phone keeps that. lagging the video because my internet sucks. But how's ESO? I thought about trying it out as I have all the other Elder Scroll games. Wow. Okay. Uh, ESO is pretty much like all those other games thrown together in a way, but still different. Um, uh, it's great if you play with friends because there's a lot of content that does require team play but there is a lot of storyline stuff and a lot of content that you can do by yourself as well along with a whole ton of other things like crafting and uh, research um, uh, achievements housing. sky shots housing. endeavors and housing housing yes uh, there's a crap ton of stuff here. Costumes. So, costumes. Oh Costumes. god. There's lots of stuff in this game. Um, so if you're looking to just chill and play for a bit by yourself, it's got it. If you're looking to play with friends and scream and yell in, in sheer frustration, 
they've got it too so <laughs> it's definitely worth definitely worth it uh, yeah. i think yeah <laughs> you can hear that nervous laughter in the background um um and we, we will we will you also know a good guild where to yes start a game in. <laughs> and if you're very yeah. good if you're a very good team player we know a good guild for you <laughs> yes. um Peter, they're really, I, really good. Players. Yeah, no, they are a very good guild. Yeah. Um, can I? Yeah, I'm looking really good. for research items. I'm trying to find the tri triune and protective. Cyrodiil. Cyrodiil, yeah. Cyrodiil. Yes, oh, yeah, both of the Cyrodiil conquest dailies or dailies there. Oh, jeez, that's how buy you get it from a guild trader. Yeah, no, I I went to a guild trader and bought it. Oh, okay, all <laughs> but right. They are, but they are expensive. I'll tell you that. So, uh, Rob, I seem to recall you mentioning something about an, uh, a website f to find out guild traders. Mm. Uh, let's bring it up. ETC? Something like that. Uh, what am I going to say? A Tamriel Trade Center, yeah. Yeah, Tamriel Trade Center. Yeah, TTC. TTC. Ah, okay, let me go there quick and have a look. TTC. TTC.com. No, uh, ta Tamriel Trade oh. Center. <laughs> okay, I thought TTC was a thing. Dot com. Oh. Yeah. Guys, guys, this is this is just too funny to be ridiculous. Yeah. Another somebody, ludicrous somebody, sale. Somebody is trying to sell that item that I just mentioned for one hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine gold. Jesus. Uh, what is it? What is this item actually? Uh, I'm interested to ice, know. It's a uh, precise eye staff of Mother Sorrow. Uh, precise eye staff of Mother Sorrow. Eye staff of Mother Sorrow. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah, but that's but, uh, it's no meta anymore. So the price. I know. Price I know. Down. Yeah, exactly. They say the price is 8.5k to 10k. And this guy is trying to sell it for 199,999. Deshaun, Good luck with that. Huh. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah. I mean, I can that craft is... that now. <laughs> but Modus sure. Sorrow? No, no, Modus Sorrow, no. It's an Overland it's set. A... So it's a set. So I can it's craft it. No, it's an Overland set. That cannot be crafted. That needs to be uh, farmed. No, no, no. You can buy crystals. You can. Yeah, that's what I mean. You can make it yourself these days. Oh yeah, with the uh, yeah 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 with the sticker book yeah yeah. Mm. Good point. Mm. That's what makes it even more ludicrous. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. It does. I only have the lightning staff, I think, yeah. No, no, yeah, yeah I, I said that assuming I have it. Let's see if I've actually got it. <laughs> ah, don't worry about it. I'll, uh... I'm Look, just curious. I have, I, I have accumulated so much gold in, the, in, in those seven years now, so... <laughs> Spicy economics. Guild. But then again, strong. 200k for a staff which, which you can buy for max 10k. Oh, it's insane. Oh, turns out I don't have any of the Mother Soros stars. Okay. <laughs> I retract what I said earlier. <laughs> Go I buy it. it. Go buy it. You only need it if you want an, uh, a Magicka character with a good DPS. Then you need Mother Soro. But if you follow the instructions with some sites, they use it on their armor pieces because of the other set is a heavy one it has to be on your weapon and your jewelry and mm. uh, what about uh, healing huh? mm. well, uh, the info that I got I don't know if it's true the because false god makes uh, no sorry all gas makes only one healer build so you don't know what the second Healer is wearing, but 
what I know is that the one healer is uh, giving uh, major courage, or that is Yolorim, Olorim, or that is spell power cure. Where the fuck have I seen this? Uh, together with Hollow Fang. I don't know if they changed that because Hollow Fang got nerfed, but not extremely. Uh, for the second healer, it's Ro Roaring Opportunist that gives a um, damage buff to the whole uh, four players or something if you do a heavy attack. So, yeah, you have to do heavy attack, heavy attack some cooldown. And you wear the set that John is wearing, Guidance uh, from Scholar Peak. What was this guy? Kulian Kai, what was his name? Wait. Kulian's oh, legacy. No. I can scholar. Your vault's guidance. Your vault's guidance. Uh, that's a um, set that increases the duration of all major buffs, minor buffs, and damage shields you apply to yourself and allies by 40%. That's a pretty That's cool nice. one. Yeah. Uh, wall yeah, horns, uh, all that stuff is nice. Oh, so it would be perfect for Warden healer. I don't know if Templar gives a lot of buffs, but then Warden gives a lot of buffs. And tank? Yeah, tank meta is what I'm now wearing, except you don't use the Void Bash. For trials. Yeah, most of the situations depends which trial and what the groups need, of course. But yeah. yeah, it's time to go pop uh, south west. But not a Soros crit, so if you have a crit healer, it should be. Uh, it should be fun. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm counting on. Because you know me, I like fun builds. Yeah, I will never change my Dragon Knight in this tank. I only want only one thing, and that's from the Void Bash to make it the perfect Void Bash. That's the only thing I want to change. If I have that possible. Yeah, if, I, if it's possible. Otherwise, I have something that. Yeah, yeah I like this setup. Thank you for the follow. Yeah. Maybe Yolorin will change, but then it should be a really good set in, instead of that. Otherwise, I will keep Trade Rush for eternity. I will use this monster set for a very long time. I'm really having trouble trying to find this place. Tashorn Morn holds spicy economics. Trader. Cessna. Is there like more than one guild trader in an area? Yeah. In one it area, depends area. how big it is. Mm. Yeah. So the big cities, only in the city itself, there are six or five. Okay, so the other one. The big cities. Tal de Yek. Wait, Ryan. Oh my goodness. You know, I want to just find like one guy to buy stuff off of him. No. That's be complicated. Granted, every guild trader I've gone to has you know, never had anything in, in the. Uh, for sale. Gotta kind of specify what you're looking for, and then it'll see if it has it. Uh, I have. I've gone. Well, I'm in the one guild trader, but it says Adventurers League. But the one that they say in the website is Spicy Economics. Yeah. Then there's another one lying around there somewhere. Yeah. But I'm not seeing the icon. I mean, 
uh, Deshaun. Shield. Yeah, so... I guess maybe it also depends on how long ago the post was made. Uh, six minutes ago. Okay, yeah, that's not an issue. Then it's there somewhere. Oh, wait, I think I found uh, it. Deshaun... Uh, oh, tell tell the egg grounds. Wait. Okay, I've got it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> uh, you have looked at the... At uh, the section of the European server, right? Not of the North American <laughs> server. Oh, that's yes. a good point. I haven't checked actually. And PC and. Yeah, no, no, it is PC. Yeah. Yes, no, I select all that. <laughs> because because uh, I also uh, was looking for one, and also where, where is that trader? Where is that trader? Oh shit! I'm on the North American server. Don't. <laughs> 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 well, I'm about to find out now because I can actually see the guy from the. Oh, I have to run around. That's bullshit. He totally could jump that wall. Oh, I find out now if it says spicy economics. Is it spicy? Spicy. No, Uncle Chez's Cheesecake Guild Store. Son of a bitch. Yeah, you <laughs> may just be on the wrong server. Exemplary infused. That one is a no. Oh, uh, one dumb thing I did is I started by searching for an exemplary. Uh huh. But then I smartened up and realized it doesn't have to be exemplary. Those are the ones that you get from the quest, but you can. Yes. Other crafters will just make basic one. Yeah, I was so looking if you for do the. An advanced search, all you do is you search on the actual trait itself, not. not not the description uh, of the item. Yes, okay, that's a good point because I was typing in Triune. Okay, let's start that again. Yeah. No that items won't found. Be in the title. No! <laughs> if you look, I, I, I'm researching the stat at the moment. So, in all events, I can craft you one eventually if you have no luck. <laughs> But, but you should be able to get it pretty easy. Yeah. Arcane, healthy, healthy. I mean, some of these things have been sitting here for like 30 plus days. It's not going to work. Um. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, because... All right, search. It actually doesn't say which server it is. All it says is choose PC. And no, above it. Above it, it, it yeah. That, yeah. The first thing it asks you is which, like, which server, and then you scroll down and you put in whether it's PC or whatever. Oh, uh, oh, this one's. Oh, okay, I see it there. Okay, uh, back, back, back. Close that. I must have somehow totally missed. Oh, yeah, it says US. Okay. Uh, ours is EU. 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 Welcome to the club. Yay.
perfect city. Ah, oh, 30 minutes ago. Meh. Maybe. Nobody's looking for it. Run all the way around the wall again. And back. Okay. Camel smugglers, okay. Oh, I think that was out in the big city. That's exactly the ones I'm looking at now. Camel smugglers, there we go. Okay. Forty-three thousand. Told you they were expensive. <laughs> Forty-three thousand. Come on, Peter, just make me the ring. Come on. <laughs> ah, I can't take it. Okay, so it's that one. That's strange, I could have sworn I bought it. Oh wait, does it get oh, sent to okay. me? Does it get sent to me? Yeah, it'll take a few minutes, but you should see it as an email. I had some purchase, there it is. Yeah, as I said, I was like, oh wait, yes, that's right. If, if you change zone, then uh, it also might uh, pop in your email box. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I freaked out because I, I bought a whole <laughs> bunch of stuff <laughs> for the first time. <laughs> And then I was like, well, they took the cash, but I didn't <laughs> see any of the items. <laughs> Those bastards. <laughs> I, was, I was panicked. <laughs> I was panicked. Uh, joy crafting. Oh, that's right, you can only research one at a time. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's sneaky. All right, I'm going to go find all my jewelry uh, things. Okay, so. Like 30 days. Yeah, okay, so we need. Protective. Hey, Weevil. Yo. While you're busy there, can you do me a check and search AFK? for Harmony Necklaces? Harmony Necklace. Uh, yeah, can't make it yet. No, no, no. Um, oh, sorry, search for it at the guild. Yeah, I thought you were still on it. But if you're not, it's not critical. It's not no, critical. no, no, I'm going back there now because I have to get another protective ring and then a triune and a Harmony Necklace. I can craft your protective. Uh, thank you. Uh, give me a couple of seconds. 
And then you need a harmony. I need triune as well, but harmony is the one I'm missing, and I can only do one at a time. So a harmony necklace. Are you actually at the guild, or are you on the trade center thing? No, I'm search? at I'm at the guild now. Oh, okay. Harmony. Yeah, Harmony Pewter Necklace, it's 6,900, so basically 7. Can you buy it for me and I'll trade you the gold? Uh, no, yeah, no, trade me the ring. Oh, that too. Yeah. Protective, you say? You said Harmony. Yeah, I need Harmony Amulet. Yeah, yeah I've got the Harmony Amulet. And I'm going to double check which one... Yeah, the protective ring. Yeah. Yeah, I've got it. I'm traveling to you. Cool. Trust me, protective is really easy to craft. Uh, Wall of Polo training. Yeah. All right. Yay. Have fun. Go get it. <laughs> you can do it. Rip his fucking paws off. And that is why I no longer play water polo with Nick. <laughs> 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 So if you here, right. John. Just it. Hmm? Bye. Uh, John, over here. Where? I can't see you. I, I can see, see you. you. I can see you. I can see you now. I can see you. Okay, that was ridiculous. Yeah, I see you. <laughs> For you. On. Yeah, that is the right one. <laughs> <laughs> I had to double check quickly. I was like, oh, "Oops!" <laughs> I just hand you some random <laughs> pewter ring with <laughs> infused. Yeah. And lock. There we go. Right. So now it's nice and safe. Thank you, much, eh? Thank you very much. Hey, only a pleasure. Right. Where did you get it from? Uh, the guild. Oh, let me show you. And uh, this way. Oh, wait, I've got turned around, sorry, the door's over here. Yum. Over here, camel smugglers. Cool. This is the first time I've ever actually looked at a guild. I've looked at them a couple of times, but I realized I didn't actually do a search. I would just open, I thought I could, you could just open it, and then they would just show you everything. You know, by yeah. clicking on all items, and they, there was never anything in them. So I'm thinking like, oh, uh, either everybody buys the stuff so damn quickly, or no one's stocking up their items, you know. But, uh, <laughs> do So what do you have to do? Uh, you go in and you can oh, I see. search it. So, so you click on it and then you type at the top and you select what it is that you're looking for, category, and then you say start, start search. Or you just say all items, start search, and then it'll show you everything. Interesting. Very, very interesting. There's a master jewelry crafter that I can do. For 28. I feel like this is a trick. Where is it? Red Eagle's Fury. I bet you that's Cyrodiil. 28 root vouchers. That's way too much. Red Eagle is 
Uh, the reach. Really? I think so. For mm -hmm. 28 red vouchers, there's got to be a catch. Because, it's a blue, because, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, jewelry is like that. Yeah. Blues are about 28 to 30, and the purples are like 200. Wow. It's ridiculous. I, I've never actually paid attention to that, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm going to start spending all my money at guild banks now. Damn it! Rob, <laughs> fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can see myself spending far too much here as well. Now I'm going to go fishing. Time to use my... How the fuck? Imperial City is supposed to be <clears throat> dead, and I keep running into people here. Just popular that way, Rob. You're lazy. They want your body on the floor with a whole bunch of knives and arrows in it. Annoying. <laughs> I'm not here to fight. I'm here for the sky shots. It's like me fishing in, in Imperial City. <laughs> it's like someone comes randomly, comes along, and tries to attack me. I'm like, I'm fishing. Go away. She keeps moving. I guess now I should probably go look for Nernhorn stuff. What's it? Uh, um, bloodthirsty. Bloodthirsty is on the jewelry. Oh, bloodthirsty is on the jewelry, right? Okay, and and Nernhorn is all the other items. Yeah, that's right. Yo, how you doing? Yeah, we're chilling, relaxing. We're all doing stuff. I think mostly admin. <laughs> yeah. Screaming yeah, at the screen, dying. I'm in city. <laughs> Rob, Rob's dying a lot. <laughs> nothing relaxing about it. <laughs> the rest of us are chilling with admin and things like that. How's things on your side? I think my chair is sinking again. Ow. I can't move. I've got a cat on my lap. At least it's warm. I had a 
I read a book of Tom Clancy, and uh, in that book, uh, there's an army exercise, and uh, the training, the, no, the, the, the you know, the, the instructing unit is was defeated by their, uh, you know, by the by the unit they had to train. Right. <laughs> nice. So it was like, what the hell is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the then the commanding officer says, Ah, you know what, Colonel? You uh, l losing is good for the soul. <laughs> yeah, it's very humbling. Yeah. And the and the and the Colonel says, Yes, General, but dying is bad for the b body. <laughs> I thought you were say bad for the business. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> I gotta go check those other things. Alright. Well. Hey, Greg, how you doing? Who? Greg, my brother, Grog. Oh, okay. <laughs> Great big hello! And then they pounce on you. <laughs> well, Eric just said that Mother So isn't the, isn't the meta anymore, but I can't find a damn staff. <laughs> The um, uh, I see that you're back up and running. Yeah, it's it's actually very interesting because my RAM. It's not a problem with my RAM slots, and it's not a problem with well, actually, it could be. It's not the RAM per se, and it's not the slots per se. It's an interesting combination of I can't use two of my eight gig. Uh, RAM sticks together. If I put one in, and I tested it, it's fine. I then move it to the other slot, ran it. Fine. I took that one out. I put the other one in. Ran it. Fine. Moved it over to the other slot. Fine. I put them both in. Blue screen. I take the one out. Perfectly fine. Put it back in. Blue screen. Take the other one out. Mm. Blue screen. Uh, it works again. Then I took my 4 gig of RAM and put it next to my 8 gig of RAM and it still works. Fine. Yeah. You got an odd RAM. Yeah. It's weird. So I'm only running on you know twelve gigs of RAM at the moment. <gasps> oh Blubby, thank you for the bits. Yeah. You've been bitified? I've been bitified. <laughs> it, it 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 itches a little. <laughs> thank you so much. So Greg, you're coming back to ESO. Oh yes. We have a new guild. We've got a new guild. It's Say really... hi, Eric. Say hi, Peter. Hello. What? 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 Saying hi to my brother. Hello, brother. <laughs> Hello, next brother. <laughs> <laughs> I say, known hone staff. Known hone staff. Need a known hone axe. I probably do. Okay. Uh, wait, wait. Let me go check. I think I've. I know I've got one of them that's already done. Uh, let me go check. Uh, one-handed axe. Yeah. Sword, axe, battle axe. Okay, yes, please. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna mail it to you. Uh, you can just make out. Oh. Ah, oh, bloody! That's another 500 bits. Holy cow, dude! Is that a, are you now on top? I can't see. Show, show us your bits. Show us your bits. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's, you know, once again, I am, I've am i been having trouble with the bit animation that's supposed to jump up. you know, And it still yeah. doesn't freaking work no matter how many times I reset it, which is supposed to be this one. So, so would it be correct to say that your bit stuff is a bit stuffed? My bits are stuffed, yes. If you guys see what I did there, I mean, I'm quite proud of myself. That was pretty good. I would say bit stuffed. I'd say somewhat stuffed. No, your bit stuff is a bit stuffed. Come on, that's my, quality. This is no, man, stuffed. my bit stuff is rather stuffed. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Yes, okay, so you can't quite hear them properly, but okay, so there's John, Rob, there. Uh, Peter, and Hello. Eric. Oh, Eric is gone. Right? Uh, Eric's Eric. gone. Hello. <laughs> you don't sound very Dutch. 
Filur. No, that's French. Oh, Jesus, please. <laughs> Filur. Don't try to imitate us. No, that is my Dutch accent. <laughs> oh, that sounds more German. Fuck it, I'm useless at this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think, think Afrikaans, but different. <laughs> I'm trying to do the same, and it's not working. I know. Yeah, the only one we're, sm we're missing at the moment is Danny. Danny's not online. Damn it, Danny. Oh, damn it, Danny. Damn it, Danny. <sighs> hang on, hang on. We need to WhatsApp her quick. <laughs> like in in concert. Damn it, Danny. <laughs> not worth it, but I'm getting my ass kicked by zombies. Stop zombies. Haha, <laughs> they can't reach me at this panel. I suck it. Uh... That, like, literally, there's a step between me and six zombies. Yeah. <laughs> they just can't get past that step. Aren't you lucky that I have yeah. ranged attacks? <laughs> Weapons. Struck oh, these two fucking mages over here, that do. It's annoying. Uh, uh, Greg says, just spent the day reinstalling my PC again. My data SSD drive failed yesterday. Ah, oh. oh, that sucks, dude. Hi started doing an installation on one of my SSDs because I thought that was one of the problems and then as I was installing Windows it blue screened me and I was like this is this is clearly not my my uh, my operating system issues yeah where are you going come back Maple Staff of Lightning. Bye. Maple Staff of Inferno. Bye. Ice Staff. Bye. Is there a Staff of Healing? Oh, Restoration. There we go. <laughs> uh, and I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> I got no money, it's all gone. <laughs> ah, thank you, John. No trouble. I'm waiting for that to arrive. Twenty six days. Sounds about right. <laughs> Hang on a second, guys. Well, take him right back. Okay, I thought with uh, 10 euro in bits would kick Princess Peach Club from the throne. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, been there a while, actually. But that's a, that's, oh, dude. Yeah, no, that's a donation, though. That's a difference. Uh, that's, um, she did it through PayPal. That's why. <laughs> I jeep, as I haven't seen her in ages. She actually came down and play and, uh, backseated, um, uh, oxygen not included. Like she used to pop on like once a week and, uh, tell me backseat game me like the whole time without actually telling me what to do she'd like say like hey you know just a, it would work better if you like looked at some other options and like oh what if you tried this instead of that and yeah it's been a while but yeah dude if you want to throw off the throne 
oh, you can only spend bits. Yeah, no, that's only, that's a, a dollar donation thingy, so. But thank you so much for the bits. And of course you want them back. I don't think I can refund them. It should be on silent. Why is that? There we go. It should be the other way around. Channel. Okay, put that there. Alright. But thank you for the bits, really. It really means a lot. Everything, every little drop counts as the man peeing into the ocean. And it's, it means a lot. I mean, considering our exchange rate at the moment uh, in rands is, I think it's like 13 rand to the euro, 12 to the euro. And it is, yeah, it adds up, dude. Thank you so much. It really means a lot. Hey, Danny. <gasps> Damn it, Danny. Danny. Oh, wow, well, Danny has appeared. <laughs> Damn it, Danny. Because you're not here. Yes, you weren't here earlier when we needed you to be. Are oh, you motherfucker? <laughs> Whoa, dude, that's a bit harsh. I mean, we've missed her, but seriously. Wow. <laughs> what happened? Oh, he's sulking now. He's I don't want to talk that. about it. <laughs> <laughs> where, where did the opposing alliance member touch you, Rob? Uh, <laughs> what was so annoying was I was I was tromping through the sewers. I was being attacked from all sides by about like five, ten animals, whatever. They were dropping me. My health was getting low, low, low. I didn't mind because I knew if I could die, I would just respawn. And just before I die. A fucking yellow gets the last shot on me, so I respawn back at home base instead. Oh, <sighs> oh dear. This stuff hasn't come through yet. Those stars. Did I tell you about when we were doing the event, and I running along, running along, get through to the, get to the sewers, oh, went my way through the sewers, get right up to the door to the Alliance base, and get ganked. Uh. Yeah, the guy was obviously just hanging around waiting for people to come back and then ganking them as they came mm. in. I was like, Douche. ballsy move, dude, because all it takes is for one person to start telling about that and the entire alliance comes pouring yeah, Exactly. Out. Oh, yeah. But I mean, clearly he was in hiding somewhere. He was um, night played. Actually, I gotta try something was quickly. Secure enough in his, okay, I'll just move on if they. It's definitely that quick. I gotta try a sound check quick here. Start telling about that, the entire alliance comes pouring. Yeah, exactly. Out. Oh, yeah. But I mean, clearly he was in hiding somewhere. Uh, I played. Actually, I gotta try something. Was secure enough in his. Okay, I'll just move on if they. Okay. Cool. I can hear them nicely. That's fine. Cool. Nice. Mm -hmm. So I was just doing a sound check on, on Twitch again, just to be sure that uh, everyone could hear you properly. Because, you know, Greg was saying, like, oh, he thinks he can hear you, John. But uh, yeah, everybody should hear me. Yes, yes, but uh, everybody can be heard quite well, so that's that's good. <laughs> Does that mean people are listening to Danny and Robert as well? Yeah, unfortunately, I can't mute them without us not being able to hear. Them. We can't hear you, Danny. You're too far away. Damn it, Just Danny. Like it. Just way like it. Have you ever tried clicking on your name on Discord before and see what happens? It's quite funny. You go to your name, oh, right? You click you? on it. It goes copy. And then you click on it again. It goes double copy and then you click on it, it goes triple copy dominating <laughs> page mega copy oh, no. unstoppable wicked sick monster copy good like and then it just starts of like it starts going crazy at you it's quite fun. god like god like <laughs> and like Cute, like the text is shaking in its little bubble yeah, as god like exactly. how cute is that I didn't know that before <laughs> That's really cute. Where? How? And you click on your name. Like, your name. You oh, oh, at the at the bottom. <laughs> oh, copy, yeah. double copy. Oh, I see that. Yeah, you could have just, just hit the mute button. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. It just says copied. It doesn't change. Keep yeah, going. Do it, again. do it again. 
Oh, you gotta wait for it to go away. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, uh, yeah. Put, put your away. Rampage, yeah. mega copy, unstoppable, wicked sick, monster copy. Godlike. Good, 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 godlike. Godlike! That's it. We're all playing Unreal Tournament. Pull out your old copies of the 2004 version. Let's go. Yeah, how do you do, how do, you do that? Yeah, your name in the bottom bottom left hand corner where your mute and deafen is. Oh, you yeah, yeah, you yeah. click on it once and it pops up, and then you wait for it to disappear, and then you click again. You will move, you your, mouse move your mouse, mouse button away. Yeah. What? No, people don't do that. My stuff still has not arrived. This is getting really annoying. Have you changed cool. zone? No, I haven't changed zones. Should I change zones? Right. Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't see any changes in my name, but oh uh, well. No, 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 no. It, it's like a little pop-up thing. So, bottom left-hand corner, right next to deafen and mute. Yeah, you yeah. just click, on, just cl uh, left click on it, and then it should say copied once. Yeah, yeah. Then wait for it to disappear. Then click on it again. And then you keep clicking on it, and then eventually it'll it'll uh, scroll through the. Uh, Others. Why did why are you guys getting angry at me? Doesn't, not here. Work, what is doesn't work for me. Mm -hmm. hmm, maybe it needs to be updated. Well, Sorry, what Danny, you, what's that? What are you guys doing that you need to Nothing. Admin. We just haven't said damn it, Danny, in a long time, so. Ah. We needed a scapegoat, and you weren't around. Well, not really. <sighs> we were discussing, and she wasn't here, and I realized I haven't said damn it, Danny, in a while, and I suffered with withdrawal symptoms, so I solved the problem with WhatsApp. No. <laughs> I haven't even been here for like a day. Like I know, Monday. it's too long. We miss you. Don't do it oh, again. I eat that cat. But okay. I need one. <laughs> I was watching anime last night. She doesn't <laughs> love us anymore. <sighs> I'm just fucking tired. Get the feeling she never did. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> I think she was just using us. Like a, yep. like a typical woman. <laughs> yep. <laughs> It was like that uh, one TikTok where the, you see this woman broken hearted and she's sitting there and it's like, after seven years of marriage, I've discovered that my husband doesn't love me. And this voice comes from offside, off the screen going, oh, for God's sake, I just said we can't get a dog. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> I saw that one with the, with the man as well. It's like, this is it. It's over. We, we, we're apart. She's like, I just said we can't fry today. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny one. <laughs> I can imagine that. <laughs> oh, dear. Maple in hand. Lock. Interesting. Ooh. What is interesting? I'm testing something. I'll let you know. Nice and uh -oh. yeah. She's up to no good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Woman, up to no good. Never good. Yeah, yeah could be onto something here. Yeah, could be onto something. Share with the rest of the class. Oh, yeah. You? I'm, I'm going I'm <laughs> to die from this, and then I'll share. I'm skinny pinging it. Hold on. I may have, like you guys might already know this, but if it's a little feat for me discovering, I'm going to take it. Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes. Ganked again. Cunty blue. I'm... S you know, actually, I'm quite okay with that. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Fucking smurfs. You're all the same. <laughs> well, you know... Azrael and Gargamel always lose from the Smurfs, so you must True. be either either Gargamel or Azrael. So oh, take no your mind. pick. Take your pick. It doesn't work. I, I saw like that one episode of Robot Chicken where Gargamel eventually catches the Smurfs, and like, <laughs> and he catches them, and he cuts them up, and he cooks them, and he starts eating them, and he's like, yeah. 
yeah. And then he wakes up. Oh, and then, okay. No, no. Then he just like, he scrapes the remains like into the bin. He's just like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Not actually that delicious after all. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, time I've wasted. Yeah, precisely. <laughs> that robot chicken's always a win. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Especially the Star Wars specials. I find them particularly funny. Yeah, it didn't work. I thought what that if you jumped from a do? high house, like I, I did it from like a not so high height, and then I blocked it before I fell, and it didn't take any damage. And I thought, hey, it might be also something. So then I fell from a high height, ah. and then I took a lot of damage. So <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> No, I didn't die. I didn't die, which is good. Is that on? Maybe. It's... I don't know. I'm going to run up a cliff and see if that. Like, normally, if I would die, I'm going to have a cliff. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. I am invincible. Splat. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no cliffs in Merc Mine. Damn it. Damn it. Merc Mine. Damn it. Damn it. Say it, John. Say it. No. After like an hour of sitting here in Craglawn waiting for somebody to pop an invitation for normal halls of fabrication, I finally see somebody and he's looking for a healer and I'm like, yeah, okay, sign up. And then I click on my gear manager to go and swap into my gear, get my healing gear, and I don't have any of it. Oh, what? No. What? I'm not sure what I've done with it. Oh, I'm hoping oh. it's still in my fucking chests in my northern elsewhere home. Oh. But if it's not, oh, no. oh, I've done no. a smithin. <laughs> oh no! Mm. How would you have smithin though? I have no clue. Oh no. Oh well. These things happen. What kind of gear was it? Ugh, it was prayer and sanctuary, I think. Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, you think with all this water, Vardenfell would have more fishing spots? Yeah, it's an island. Freaking water everywhere, and there's like no fishing. No I mean, fishing. Uh, like, like the icon I, that I you would, you would usually yeah. get an icon that would appear, and even if the the, the fishing yeah. spot is not there at the moment, you know, you at least know it was there. Uh, A little hook. Yeah, it's not there. Uh, it, I have fallen fell here. It's filled with hooks. Okay, well, I just gotta keep running around till I find them. Go uh, the area around the left, the left, in the in the in the west. Okay. It's well, um. Well, I'm gonna start from Vivek City and then I'll work my way up the west side. Vivek City around there is nothing much, but if okay. you go around Sedanina along the coast and then along the coast uh, to the north. Okay, right, that's exactly what I'm doing. Cool. Alrighty. Ah, I'm on it. I don't want the Artyom fishing food to go to waste. There we go. Salt water. And back. Welcome back. And finally, the last sky shot imperial city has been captured by all my characters but what about the fish rob I, I, i've not even touched the fish you gotta go for the fish we gotta have a group we gotta have a group of people like just running in there just ganging everything just so we can go fish in peace and quiet mm -hmm. <laughs> oops 
Yeah. Well, what I'd like is for all of us to go in as different alliances and then find the same fishing spot and just sit there fishing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty cool. They'd be like, hmm, they're all coexisting. Maybe we shouldn't attack them. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like, you know, what do we do here? There's a whole group of them and they're all different and they're not hitting each other. There'll be some doers who comes along, but yes. hopefully everybody okay, turns okay. on him. Yeah, but the problem is if we start hitting him, we'll start hitting our buddies and not in the other alliances too. Nothing will stop us from That's hitting true. each other. Like but area effects. Fine. Sacrifices must be there. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Lesson must be taught. <laughs> well, it's like the people of the same color that you know the Zeus comes in. Like they should just run away, then the other two just attack or just block. Yeah. Yeah. Or type in the zone chat. Fuck off. <laughs> Be gone, thought. <laughs> uh, what's it? Kitri and Peter and Cruel are all talking in the ESO chat and not talking to us. How rude. How rude. I just said hi in chat. Ah. D double, double timing on us, guys. Ah. So rude. Oh, <laughs> but Katri mm -hmm. was here. Yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. Was, no, wasn't she on a little bit earlier? Oh, I don't know. Eh. No worries. <gasps> Danny! What? Special Go. thanks to John, it worked. What wisdom did you impart, John? John. I have no idea. <laughs> now everyone's gonna stop talking there. <laughs> so we're gonna be silent now. <laughs> you're gonna have to watch your chat. Oh my goodness. Right, there we go. Oh, yes, the. Ah, bars. yeah. Ah. Very nice. <laughs> Glad he's good for something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, love you, John. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Lies. Firmly yeah, established right at the beginning. <laughs> not on the table. <laughs> And all the fish are gone. Scared the fish away. Yeah, now fish them all out. They're all in my backpack. How many dolphins did you slaughter in the meantime? Uh, Weevil. so far no, but I've got sharks and octopuses. Weevil. Yes. If you talk too much or too loud during fishing, you will scare them away. So you better uh, oh. keep quiet. Oh right. Okay. I'll be very quiet. Yeah. Keep the stream okay. quiet. Okay. Finally, okay. he's quiet. I'll throw the dynamite in. Oh, oh, thanks. thanks, Peter. <laughs> don't, forget, don't forget to do, take your boat stars far away from everybody else and be very quiet. 
and don't stay come back. there. <laughs> and stay there. <laughs> <laughs> and the occasional explosion. Yeah, that's that's, that's just dynamite. <laughs> 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 Anyway, you're speaking to a son of a fisherman. I know how to fish. I get someone else yeah. to do it. Son of a fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> you know what would be nice? If they would introduce spear fishing into the game. <laughs> if you could oh. swim. If you could actually submerge yourself underwater. You know, like in Skyrim. Like, that would be interesting. Yeah, if you could do like, a, like be an Argonian and do that or something. In certain classes could do certain things. Well, don't forget in Skyrim, you also had a uh, portion of, of underwater breathing. True. You yeah. know, when you, when you had to go and, and um, explore yeah, yeah. the underwater wrecks. Yes. That would be very cool. Yeah. Because I remember drowning plenty of times trying to get down there until eventually I found the potion. Mm. <laughs> I'm now playing no stinking Argonian. <laughs> They're all right. <laughs> They can swim know. pretty cool. I've always found them to be a scaly bunch. Mm. Mm -hmm. Little, little cold blood of my likes. Mm -hmm. With their forked tongue. Mm. <laughs> Devil eyes. I like the whiskers. Oh, speaking of which, I saw two animals I've never seen before in my life today. I spoke happy. I saw mm -hmm. an armadillo today. Oh. And a Henrik. Did you get to pet the oh, what, armadillo? No? no, I didn't get to pet the armadillo because of COVID. But Aww. I saw him. He's so cute. He didn't want to wake up. He was just kept in his like little ball for a while. And all of a sudden, he's like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, so I was crawling around the carpet, like, whatever. Where is he? <laughs> Sweet. Um, and the other one is a? Tenerik. A Tenerik. A Tenerik. I never knew until today either. It's <laughs> basically, it's an animal that comes from Madagascar. And because obviously with Madagascar having formed its own like you know, colony of species of animals, it's mm -hmm. like a, it's related to the shrew and related to the elephant and like that sort of like family. Has it got the one but with a long nose? They, it looks like a long nose, but the one that he brought in today <laughs> looks like a hedgehog, but it's not a hedgehog. But it has the same spikes as a hedgehog, and it almost functions like a hedgehog, but it's a tinnerick. So it looks like it has like a shrew face with like little mouse ears and a, like a hedgehog body. And you get different species of tinnerick. So you get different sizes and species that like basically do different Damn. functions of animals that we have. Like there's one that's quite big that is like a ball almost and it like, you know, bores through the ground or something. It's like weird. But this one you bought in would look like a little Oh yes. Um, okay, I recognize these little guys. Yes. Have you looked it up? Yeah, I've looked yeah. it up. Yeah, I have seen them before. Well they're like a hedgehog. It's yes. Like Except when they open their mouths and they're like they look absolutely terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're so cute. I didn't even know what it was until today. I was like, oh. Did you get to pet that one? No. Oh. <laughs> Stupid children. Apparently, us teachers don't need to have fun. <laughs> he's like, he's like, can I have volunteers? And I keep putting my hand up. Like, me, I want to pet it. Uh. <laughs> it's like barging the kids. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's me on outing for me and go anyway. And he's like, an opportunity to do something. Like, move, kids. <laughs> Big kid coming through. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like a orc mentality. I'm the biggest, so I'm the rightest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when we go to Legoland, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> you got to the Harry Potter Museum or Harry Potter exhibit or whatever it is somewhere around there too. Oh, well, I've I've been to Harry Potter World. Yeah. Oh, Harry the Potter studios. World. Yes, yeah, it's there the we studios. Go. Yeah, the studios okay. with, with everything in it. I didn't go with the kids for that. No, I was just big one giant kid, but. No. <laughs> I basically am yeah, when it comes to anything like that. Like in two weeks, we're going to um, Fort Park, which is a big amusement park here. And they have like massive rides and stuff, and that's where I become a child as well. I just get all excited and giddy. It's fun. Yeah, it's kind of like when. I there the other day. What? Like a few years back, a couple of years back, didn't someone like die? Maybe. Of fun. Yeah. <laughs> With a smile on they left face. that last part out in the media report of it. I can assure you. Okay, well, um, I think a week ago, uh, some uh, so, uh, a woman in the U.S. Yeah. Uh, died in a roller coaster 
because uh, due to the force uh, to the force of the, the roller coaster, an artery mm -hmm. erupted. Wow. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was in 2017. Hi, jeez. Yeah, sure. Uh, it says 2017, an 11 year old um, plunged into the water on the water ride. Sure. Scary. So that's a Drayton Manor. That's that's not the one where, where I am. So that's fine. That's Staffordshire Park. That's not the one I go to. No, the <laughs> one I'm thinking of is like the one cart on something or other stopped, and then the one coming next kind of slammed into it. Oh, uh, um, yeah, I've heard of of something similar to that uh, happening at Rotunga Junction with the Monkey Falls because of the. Uh, the conveyor belt jammed, and mm. the the one behind it, uh, it wasn't on a inc on a decline yet, but it came up and forced them over, um, and uh, caused uh, a neck injury. There was no death though. Uh, funny enough, Cindy and I were actually and Greg were were um, on Monkey Falls when uh, they lost power, and. Uh, the, the whole entire ride stopped. The water pump, pump stopped and everything. And they t got us. They walked up. And they said, "Just stay where you are. We're coming up to get you." And uh, eventually, then the, you, you, we climbed out and walked down the maintenance stairs. Mm. They said, "Okay, we just got to we just got to fix this, and then when it's back up and running, just come come back in the queue, and you can jump back in again." And uh, so we came back about a half an hour, forty five minutes later. Once they retimed all of the the logs, you know, that you climb into. Uh, to to go through properly, and when we got there, the guy was like, "No, no, no you come to the front." I'm like, "Oh, uh, okay." And we walked past everybody, we climbed in, and we went round. And as yeah, we're about to climb, and we went round and about to climb out, and he's like, "No, no, stay in." <laughs> I was like, so we went five times without climbing out. And we were like, we were soaked. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> and then we died of pneumonia. <laughs> no, it was it was a really hot day, Rob. It was really hot. <laughs> but yeah, it was there yeah. was besides having to climb down the stairs, which was pretty high up, that was not cool. Uh, yeah. The rest of the day was pretty good. God, the last time I was at, I was at Rotunga, I think I was still dating your cousin. <laughs> well, it's I think officially closed now. I think they're going to be turning it into a water park now. Yeah, it's completely gone. Yeah, it's building really? so totally mm. commercial. Oh, is it? I could swear mm. I heard something about plans to make a water park. No, Discovery Head Office is right where it used to be. Oh shit, that sucks. Because I was only ever able to take Emily, and she was too short to go on the bigger rides. I was hoping to take them all again someday. Oh well, we'll just have to fly off to Dubai, you know, and go to the water parks there and stuff. Because, you know. <laughs> Well, yeah, I imagine they uh, they spare no expense. Yeah, <laughs> at those ones. Uh, so. A friend of mine, uh, Alicia, was up there. She was working there for about four years, and the photos that she took. I mean, the places are huge. I mean, the malls are so big that you can literally, you know, travel like four or five blocks underground, or five or six blocks, or ten blocks, something ridiculous. Um, you could go in one side of the city and almost come out the other. There's like just a whole entire underground shopping center. That just oh, spans almost the entire thing. Mm. And uh, well, she sent good. pictures. She sent pictures of of the hobby places, like uh, the hobby stores. Uh, it's just like huge. They're gigantic. And I just like sisters. They go. You will have a forty k stuff. It's like she <laughs> took a few pictures later. And it's just literally. On, <laughs> it's like, it was just. It was jam packed. It was just like everywhere and guys painting and playing i was just like damn that was when i was going to apply for like a managerial job as in a hotel there you know you know, run a mm -hmm. you know the restaurant or, or something like that and then like mm -hmm. they when they did the skype interview they're like no no no, this this is entry level you'll be starting as a waiter you know and they were offering me like half of what they initially were talking about and i was like i can't leave my family behind at the time it was only Emily and Cindy but I mean the amount yeah, of money that they paid me would not have been enough to support them that's interesting because I would have thought they were just like throwing the cash out well they were they, I mean hell Alicia got picked up in a limousine 
you know, from the airport. Mm. Yeah, I mean, from that aspect, they look after people. But I mean, uh, and they, they, they put you in like a hotel block, you know, on the side of the city. And, you know, you get like free bus and food, um, transport everywhere uh, and all that kind of stuff, you know, well looked after. But the money, you know, you have to work your way up the ladder. And uh, it wasn't enough. The initial offer wasn't enough. So it was a pity. It would have been kind of cool. But I think I would have got homesick within like the two two months or three months easily. Mm. I mean, mm. I realized after a week of being up in Namibia when they kept telling me, no, please stay a little bit longer. Please stay a little bit longer. I was like, I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So... Yeah, but uh, working up in Namibia was pretty cool as well. I mean, I had so much free time. I was hiking everywhere. Luderitz. Fuck, it was cold. We were there in winter for yeah. a Red Sea diving resort. And you get to see me once, but not in Namibia. I mean, we shot stuff in Cape Town in the office blocks. You can <laughs> see me walk past the, the door. <laughs> Oh, this was the extras gig, was it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been to Namibia. I want to go. Lots of sand. Hmm. <laughs> well, since we're all doing bits and pieces, you want to do a random dungeon? Mm. Yeah, I could probably do yeah. a random with you. Yeah, same here. I need a healer then. I am Le Tank. Okay, cool. I'm in DD. Me too. DD. So you guys need a healer. Uh, sounds healer. sounds like Sorry, it. Sorry, I'm busy. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's party up. I have I'm no awfully busy and important. Damn it. Uh, everybody in the right characters. I yep. have no. Oops. Alright, so. A decline. Invite. I haven't even said it to you yet. <laughs> He's just forward. Uh, why am I in a group? I don't have the heels. I thought you said yes. No, I said I do not have the heels. Just fake, a fake heel, fake heel. It's You're a, it's a, a random. Like... It's a random, random normal. Okay, It'll be fine. fine. Do you invite me again? You, you declined? How dare you? Well, How yeah. dare you? Well, John, no, no, it's, it's ever. I do and not just say. Freaking out. I'm a little bit. It's okay, Rob's a tank. They, he does healing. There we go. I'm just on you. Okay. Dungeon. Normal. Random. Oh, you're a man. You Please die. get Imperial City. Please get Imperial City. Please okay. Get Imperial City. Roll incompatibility. Who is yeah. what? I'm DP, remember? No, make yourself a tank. Or make yourself a healer, Danny. Did okay. Danny just say DD or DP? Uh, we're going to have to check Where that. Where are we going we're with gonna this? We're going to have to check that. <laughs> check what? <laughs> Something you're not telling us, Danny. Oh, my what? God. What's a DP? <laughs> when a man and a woman love each other, and then another man comes along. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> Forget it. What? <laughs> Danny, <laughs> Danny, <laughs> joke, joke's not worth repeating. There we go. Let's go. When you when you got to explain it, it's not funny anymore. <laughs> the banish cells too. I'm just oh. innocent. I'm innocent. I think she did that slip on purpose. I did not. She knew what she would provoke. I did not. It's bullshit. I did not. <laughs> Weevil, timestamp. Uh, time is now one forty nine. Okay. Well, one forty nine twenty eight. Yes. Did so not. you've got like a few minutes on each side of it. <laughs> well, hi, John. Oh, hi, John. Hi, John. <laughs> oh, you've got a quest here, guys. You do? I don't. Jerry, yeah, do you? I do. Yeah. I do. I don't. I, I'm not even map moved in yet. This is taking forever. I want to ask Vessel what he did. Please. <laughs> 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 please, please. <laughs> <laughs> now. Hello? What's a DP? A D DP. <laughs> he doesn't know either. 
He just knows he does. He's just pretending not to. It's my claims he does it. Be thankful. <laughs> it's what? Be thankful. No, no, no. DP, like the initial DP. Deadpool. It it's a Deadpool. There we go. It's a verb. You've been DP. You know it I said I'm a DP. What does that mean? No, you're not. I didn't a actually. DP. I don't know what you even context it was. It's in. not a noun. It's a verb. It's a verb. Doing. You know it's it a is. doing word. It's a doing word. <laughs> What is oh, it? Actually, it could be both a noun and a verb. It sort of serves a double function. <laughs> Don't Google it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, image, Ima <laughs> image, image only, image only, and make sure that your child that that's adult version. Otherwise, you're not going to get the. Oh. What's that O for? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> God, <laughs> for this moment, that's why. <laughs> okay, John, the the one fifty one. <laughs> the dude from like one forty five onwards. There's about four or five clips in here. You're gonna have to make yeah. it a highlight. You were DP, ha ha ha. I'm like, what's that? And then it turned into this. <laughs> <laughs> We're too, no, Daddy. We're too to much. Explain. We're too much. We're too much of gentlemen to explain it to you. So it made sense for you to ask your husband. <laughs> That's hence the reason why Rob said, "When a man and a woman love each other, and then another man no, comes." Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. I get it. Oh jeez, you guys are disgusting. <laughs> a dirty mind is a joy forever. Yeah. <laughs> So I hope for anybody that was watching that, enjoyed that scene, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for being innocent, jeez. <laughs> no, you don't ever change, Danny. Don't ever change. <laughs> uh, just a minute, guys. I can uh, morph a uh, skill. Cool. Yeah, me too. I'm putting in actual Warhorn. That should come in handy. Okay, where are we going? Where is that? Where is it? Oh, okay. Chest. Chest, tickle. Oh, yeah. Do the dance. Yeah, Do the dance. No, I'm not picking it. I've just got the uh, print, That's though. It. You touched it. That's it. It's advanced. And done. Excellent. Advanced. Then shit stuff Garbage. Hmm. All serves a purpose. Oh, Scrap. Cool. That's a big bad. That's but... a buff Jeff. Oh, hello. Buff Jeff. Come meet my Jeff. Take that, meet my jet. Bearkins, I choose you! Vahorn! Oh, damn it, for some reason I didn't get Peter in that. Or at least it's not showing as activated on my screen. Your group needs orbs. Your group need orbs. Ah! Clearly, you be, it's because you're the healer. <laughs> I told you I ain't healing shit. <laughs> I'm actually on fire. Look at me. I'm on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking. <laughs> Dead and stupid. Timber. So that guy had been sitting there the whole time, chained up. Oh. He could have let him let himself out at any time, except he only did it when we got there. Yeah. yeah. yeah interesting. I mean, if we had let him go, that would have made more sense. Yeah. Or ignored him and moved on to the next door. Yeah. <laughs> uh, why aren't you responding? Ah, there we go. Hills is yeah, slow. I'm that's also the... not responding. That's happened before. Oh, I'm still not responding either. I'm still not. I still can't do anything. They're yep, not. No, I can do damage. Can you do anything? 
Yep. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, you're bashing. There we go. <laughs> Weird. Well, I've had this. I've it. had this problem here before. There we go. Interesting. Don't jump. Your group needs orbs. <laughs> Stop. Wait a minute, guys. Somebody needs. Oh, uh, sorry. Sorry. No, uh, thank you. Heal. Thanks. Our, our healer <laughs> needs heal. <laughs> Very nice. Where did you come from? Oh, I'm just combat. Hi. Yeah, two little thingies came running around the corner like death wish. And nothing. Okay. We do go running back, don't we? Moving on. Yep. Yeah. Mm, yep. I'm through here. <laughs> Always worth a giggle when you when you go bowling, Danny. Always. <laughs> Me. Take him, Jeff. Take him. Fuck him. Bearkins, Bearkins, get him. I got Bearkins, a wolf, and Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> and stuff a bear. Who's the wolf? I got a pet wolf. It's companion. Oh, oh nice. It's pet wolf. I got my pet wolf. I got my pet rat. Does the hunger also do crowd control at all? It stuns whoever it hits. Uh, fuck, okay. <laughs> Immune. So I've got the mad tinkerer and that to deal with. Wait, it's my pet. Oh, uh... no, this is my pet. My wolf. This is my pet. No, my wolf is my pet. My pet. Mm hmm. My pet. My pet. You hurt my pet. Ah, uh, wolf hide. Wolf hide. Please, my pet. Please, no, my wolf is enough. Elf hide. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense to hunt high elf than it is wood elf because high elf has more skin on them. Well, wood elves hunt each other, so. Yeah, uh, little cannibals. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it makes more sense to have wood elf hide. It's normal. But high elves are bigger. You get more yeah. per elf. But more meat. More, more meat, more skin. <laughs> they hunt each other. They kill each other, they eat each other. Oh, well, actually. Looks like I've got a resto staff on the back bar. <laughs> I guess I could be that my own healer. Oh, aren't we a little selfish? selfish? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There's a bubble of protection. Yay! Ooh, we actually could use. Oh, it. I died. What? Your protection bubble did nothing. Useless. Is he still alive? Oh, yes. Yep. Too. Yeah, I was just hiding. She. she. It. I. Dead. That's what it's gonna be. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Not. not if we, not if we all did DD then. Oh no! Now I have to talk to the guy, and it takes ages. Ah, uh, that's right. Blah 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 blah. No blah, no no, blah, no blah, it's, blah, it's, it's Char blah, no it's Charlie Brown it's Charlie Brown. No no I can uh, I can move on I can move on. <laughs> yeah, was it us? <laughs> it probably was. <laughs> Oh. I'm 
button. Yeah. Ah, wrong button. <laughs> yes. That's what she said. Wrong button. <laughs> wrong lever. <laughs> wrong lever, crunk. <laughs> Squeak, 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 squeak. Uh, tag. <laughs> Coming. I'm gonna war on it. Release the Berkins. This isn't the one we have to try kill them at the same time, right? No. Uh, in the beginning it was, but now not anymore. Uh, on vet it's more important, hey? I think, yeah. Well, there's a lot of dungeons where you kind of uh, where there's two bosses where you kind of want to burn them at the same rate. You yeah, don't like, want to kill the one. Yeah, like the well twins. Before the other. Like fighting mm. the twins, the fire and ice twins. Those two screwed us over. I don't know how many times with those explosions. Yeah. Yeah, right. I'm going to use a stone. Uh. Don't touch it, Danny. I smushed it. He smushed it. I smushed it. Oh, oh Jesus! I smushed it. Well, don't know about Jesus, but he definitely comes back from the dead, though. He looked a little different than the last time. <laughs> he looks a little buffer. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, what's again? Blue? No. Oh, wait, is this the Daedroth summoning one? This is the one we get in the yeah. red, yeah. red or blue shields, and you have to run to the thing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh wait, maybe I have to well, run. Yeah. That means I have to get the Jeffs. Which Jeff's yeah. real? <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. one that's trying to kill him is the real Jeff. Oh, and get the orbs, guys. Also. Oh yes. Ah yes, that's right. Oh fuck! I've lost the taunt. Where is he? Oh, I'm red. Uh, oh, you're floating. Red. Got the red. Oh, actually, I can war horn it. Ba -boo. Release the bear. Oh, smash! Ow! Going ow! Down quickly ow, now. ow! 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 Oh, there we go. Did. Nice. Nice. Whose war end is that? That's cool. Step away. Oh. step away, step away, step away. Wait, that's not it. Oh no, you've got us caught. Whatever will we do? Oh, actually, we're two wood elves. Oh, here comes the stinking high elf. And the high elf <laughs> stinking ah, high get, get out the way! <laughs> so, about that DP. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's right, run. <laughs> You're shorter. Um, I, I am. You are. I Wait, mean, no, I think. Well, the back no, of my head is. No, actually, I don't know. No, I think we're about the same height. I purposely made her as short as possible, so. Me too. Well, then it's the same height. <laughs> because, unless, of course, you've got shoes. Have you got the shoes brunette, on? The brunette is uh, just a tad taller. It may be what I'm. It may be what I'm standing on. Yeah, it's the back now of your head is taller. Now you're standing on the same level. Yeah. yeah actually, let's yeah. stand over here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ginger. I want to be Ginger short. short. That was the. Uh. <laughs> Right, back to back. Okay, I was I was merging. It's yeah. the only way right. to 
Emerge, yeah. Yeah, you're same height. Yeah. No, yeah. no. There's like, oh, well, that's oh, it is. My eye is slightly lower, but the top of our heads. I think the head higher. is the head does seem a little higher. Yeah. Well, I'm a little bit taller, and so is my bow. Ah, <laughs> ah, I mean, it's not about the size of your bow; it's how you use it. Hey, how you use it. <laughs> and then there's me. Get your knees, Danny. Get the your knees. Sinking high elf. Jesus, I'm going to say, I'm a motorboat. <laughs> so what? Right. I'm going to leave the group. I'm going to do something. Yeah, else. good idea. I'm going to leave the group. Run away. GTFO. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank what you. That was good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh. Map. No. Party. Yeah, back to vision. <laughs> you and your damn long legs. I'm winning. I'm winning. I win. <laughs> Transmutation. Foul, lovely. Up the little cat bed and the and the uh, floor mat that she likes lying on. I put that in the in the cat bed. Now I just need to get a sort out my camera, my other camera, and like a little table or whatever. And then I'm gonna get a kitty cat. <laughs> <Kitty cat. Nice. laughs> One of my friends has got a kitten. It's a British blue. It's the cutest thing. Black. Black is the cutest thing. I know. I do want a little mini pencil. You haven't met uh, Samara yet. Hey, you haven't been no, back I since. Haven't. No. Not for two years now. Yeah. Was... Yeah, you visited I think shortly before we picked her up. Mhm. Mm Just missed it. Ah, she's not kidding anymore. She don't care. <laughs> she don't don't like no people. <laughs> Sleeper coffin fish. She she comes up with these names. Someone with a lot of time in their hands. <laughs> Or like one of, one of those like randomized name pickers. Fishy, fishy, fishy. I could be doing storylines, I could be doing other stuff, but no. Fishing. I could be, I should be doing Cold Harbor. Definitely should be doing Cold Harbor. But I've already used up 
one of my RTM fishbowl thingies, so I've got to use the, the two hours, well, the one hour and 11 minutes left. Uh, okay. <laughs> Might as well take advantage of it. voice and whoever's doing this voice acting is really cool it's Chuck Lee's oh Dumbledore is uh, oh Emperor. yeah he's Michael Gambon yeah yeah he's the um the Harbridge guy the yes. prophet and the prophet ah and yes yeah and John Cleese is obviously yeah Everybody else. He's everybody no. else. <laughs> no, man. Yeah. Uh, Kate Beckinsale is uh, Queen Irene. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yes, that's Kate Beckinsale. I didn't know that. I had a crush on her. Yeah, me too. Stay yeah. away from her. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, she's uh, rather easy on the eyes. Mm -hmm. Quite easy. Um, Back and still easy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and let's see that. Um, oh, what's his name again? Anthony Hopkins. Hopkins. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, he also played in uh, Law and Order Los Angeles, I think, as a prosecutor. I haven't watched any of that. Okay, no, that's. Uh, uh, Magnolia, Magnolia, man. He has an Italian name. Oh, he, is, he is British, by the way. Hello, you're back. Yeah. He called. You are called. I don't know who you're talking about? Sorry. And he is. Um, he plays uh, Edna Thorne. Oh, uh, the. Bad good guy or the good bad guy. Oh, let me look it up. Let me look it up. <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up also now. Don't worry. Uh, Just trying to see if I, I recognize I the voice about. of Abner. So my champion point ability makes me allows me to fish as if I've got one extra person with me. The RTM fishbowl does the same thing and now i'm actually fishing with somebody so yep. is that huh. three times the thing yep okay all right nice. so it does still it still actually stack so now you just run away come back here we were fishing <laughs> together we had something yeah. it's ah, something here he is. <laughs> i got him Alf alfred molina oh uh, yes and then linda carter a very famous voice actor she did numerous voices on elder scrolls games is, uh, linda Zura. carter linda carter yes and uh, you know and you know who is the vo who is the voice of high king emmerich mm -hmm. no il nai no oh, yeah. Il -Nai, yes. yeah yep but linda carter uh, is that the same one that plays wonder yep. woman no. The game? No, 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 no. The actress no, no, no. from the nineteen. 19th... No, 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 no. No, Okay. Uh, Bill Joran Nye. Does, Joran, yeah, Bill Nye. Yeah, yeah. He plays. Uh, <laughs> That's like one I of the. I did not see that one coming. <laughs> and uh, Peter Stormare is uh, Joran the Skull. Uh, Joran the Skull King. I'm not too sure who he is. Hmm. Let's see, uh, Maik. The liar is Keith Silverstein, who also plays Narcissus Dren. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's actually ridiculous on the the voice talent they have in this game. Yeah, this is, and this was everybody was uh, this this one has been a mystery for uh, for quite a few years. Razum Dar's voice. Oh, uh, oh, yes. It's Christopher Smith. It's Christopher Christopher Smith. And Who's he that? and the, I don't know, but the, he he has, you know, he, the, there is a, a website called the IMDb. Yeah, IMBD, mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Yeah, he is mentioned. There are they basically all mentioned there. Ah. 
So you can all look them up. Uh, so they're actually, actually actress, uh, actors and actresses. Yeah, no, I mean, I was just saying, because, I mean, when John, they got John Cleese in, it was like, wow, that's strange. And then the prophet's voice was always one that bugged me. You know, whenever I hear him talk, I'd be like, that sounds so familiar. Yes, yeah. exactly. But I'm too lazy exactly. to look it up. Yeah. Too lazy to like, look it up. That's fucking Dumbledore. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Peter Stormera oh. is, um, Peter Stormera is the, the y'all, one of the y'alls. He's the, he yeah. actually, he's the, Castlevania, he's in a few things. You're in the oh, Castlevania, thing. what a is piece your... of work. Oh, mm. So yeah, good. Uh, if, you, if you see his face, you'll know who I'm talking about. Yeah, you'd recognize him. His Johan um, sculpting. I'm sure that you have all seen uh, the Lord of the Rings uh, trilogy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Of course. Extended do you know, do you, version. Do you know <laughs> who played Peregrine Took? Uh, sorry, uh, not Mary Peregrine, Mary... Dominic, Merrigan. Dominic uh, something. Not, uh, you know, the guy no. who always gets in in, in trouble. Who yes, also is, the other uh, one. Yeah, Pip yeah. Pip Fool Mary. of a took. Mary, Mary. Mary and Pip, yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know That's who Dominic. he's played by? Uh, Mary's Dominic something. No, yeah, but he, Billy he... Boyd. No, Billy Boyd is Pippin, Mary is Dominic. Pippin, that's the one, sorry. Pippin, that's the yeah. one I'm looking for, yeah, Billy Boyd. Billy Boyd voices Braden in Markov. <laughs> that's, the, that's the quest. Uh, that's uh, one of the, you know, that's that werewolf. That's a friend of uh, of that witch. Ah. Uh. Frickin', I'm going back to Markov. Hold on. Yeah, I've yet to see Markov, so. <laughs> okay, wait. Um, where is ba Braden? Where is he? Braden uh, only appears in a quest, and if you have uh, gone through the story, I think I you can find you can find them in that in the room at the end where they all. Oh, I'm gonna go together. back and listen. Then. Or you could just Google it. I'm gonna go back and, and listen and YouTube it. <laughs> no, <laughs> experience it. <laughs> yeah, they've got some uh, very uh, very interesting names. Yes, yeah, like uh, where so did they find the projected. budget for this? <laughs> Well, yeah, well, uh, I don't know, but it's like, um, it's like when when they announced when they when they when they showed off Keanu Reeves and Cyberpunk, and everybody yeah. went absolutely apeshit, and then he came out on stage, <laughs> and everyone was like, oh, yeah. "Oh my God, you're breathtaking! No, you're, awesome. <laughs> you're breathtaking! No, you're breathtaking!" No, you're breathtaking. <laughs> uh, Keanu, such a wholesome man. Mm. Universally loved. And heaven help but, anybody who disagrees. <laughs> but when uh, when uh, Star Trek Online uh, uh, announced uh, the um, uh, you know the their new uh, chapter uh, the, uh, the Delta Quadrant, yeah, a lot of the actors from Voyager, yeah, they came uh, they came are back vo from... are voicing are yes. voicing that. Jerry, yeah, Jerry Ryan, who played Seven of Nine. Yeah, uh, she did. Yep, Tuvok uh, as well. Tom Tuvok was there. Yeah. Uh, Alice was there. Uh, the Doctor was there. Uh, <laughs> Neelix was there. You name it. Yeah, I <laughs> was still. Came back. I was still playing the game when that one came out. It was yeah, pretty me cool. Too. Pretty cool. Yeah. So, Lord Jerry, of the Rings Jerry TV Ryan. series. Yeah. Lord of the Rings TV series? Yeah, Lord of the Rings yeah, TV I series. Know. What's your view on that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. That I didn't even know. That. Oh, uh, is I there a... Uh, huh? I'm scared to give a view. I don't know what to expect. <laughs> What do you mean? Is they are they uh, making one or? No, they. Yep. It's almost finished. Uh, it's going to be released mm -hmm. soon. Oh. oh wow! Okay. And uh, Wheel of Time. They started releasing the teasers for that now. Hmm. Yeah, I saw that they were doing the teaser things for that. Well, let's hopefully. Let's hope they don't. Fuck it up. They've already, you know, they, 
It's, my concerns with um, <laughs> here comes another rant, boys. It's, it's, it's not a rant. Okay, I understand when they want the inc inc inclusivity, you know, but when a story starts off in an area that is secluded from the outside world, right, you can expect one type of people in that area. And when they eventually go out to the bigger world, they're totally amazed when they meet people of darker skin. But. In the TV series, you've already got men of darker skin in this in the thing. I think Perrin is played by a African American or, or or you know like a mocha looking skin color. I haven't done much research. I've stayed away from it as much as possible, and I'm just so going to watch it. Like I'm out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm doing my best to stay as far away from all the info, and I'm just going to watch it. Mm. You know. And see where it takes me because I remember getting super Rage excited. City. Yeah, I was so excited for when uh, the Sword of Truth series came out, mm -hmm. and that was that. that was a fuck up. That was not anything remotely near what the books were like. It was such a bastardization. I mean, the characters didn't even look like anything that they were described in the books. Uh, the story was such a hodgepodge mess. It was. It could have been so good. I mean, those yeah. books. Those books are good. Well, near the end, he gets a bit much when he spends like you know four chapters discussing how magic works, and then they disagree at the end of it. And they're like, okay, well, you just wasted like an hour of my time. Thank you. But besides that, the actual meat of the story was pretty good. T, not a rant. That was good. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm uh. disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's going to be interesting to see how these things turn out. It's just it's hard when you have something in your head that's so good. It's like, how are they going to put it to TV? It's like, yeah, I don't know. Budget. Well, I mean, a perfect example of how something can go from epic to absolute trash is um, uh, obviously uh, Game of Thrones. Yeah. Something that was that was so prevalent in pop culture and everything went from, you know, iconic status to trash in two seasons. And it's yeah. not even mentioned at all again. Because of yeah. two guys who fucked it up. They so, basically thought the guys will suck up anything we pump out. Yeah. And and who are the guys who uh, who uh, fuck up? Uh well they call them D and D because I know their names stand for something, but that's all I remember them as D and D. And uh, apparently they're also part of, uh, they, they, they hurried up Game of Thrones because they were offered a job for Star Wars. Mm -hmm. And uh, apparently they've been let go of Star Wars anyway, so. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Mm. Nah, I've got to look now. Okay, let me have a quick look. Game of Thrones. I can't find Billy Boyd's character that he voices. Where is he? I'm in Markov. <laughs> is he not in the... Are you in the room uh, where you entered the... I'm in the, the palace. Story? Yeah, where you... Ha uh, in the end, the... Uh, you have to get all those uh, speeches from, uh, you know, from the king and... Uh... Yeah. Oh, there, Brandon. Is this, what is his name? Yeah. yeah, that's the one. Found him. Ah, David and Dan. That's their names. Dan Weiss and David Beinhoff. The showrunners, writers, producers, etc. of the show. Yet they worked on Rome... And that was okay. But now they were offered a job at Star Wars and they were like, oh no, we don't need Game of Thrones anymore. Let's run it into the ground quickly. And they did. The end. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe they just ran source material because R. R. Martin didn't, you know, yeah, but write they, books and stuff. But, but then they disregarded so many storylines that they could have actually finished off properly. Stuff that they introduced in the in the first like four seasons, right? 
that they could have actually just used those storylines and plot lines instead of making up a whole lot of other nonsense and then doing stuff that didn't make any sense. I mean, it was a real hodgepodge of stuff. I mean, I I had actually given up watching from season seven, but Cindy was still watching, and I was like, okay, fine, let's carry on watching. And then like, oh look, something more that doesn't make sense. Oh, why did she do that? That made no sense at all. Her whole entire character was calm and controlled, and now she also goes crazy. Oh, now it's a convenient. Now she's a lunatic. Now she's yeah. a lunatic. Oh, now we have to kill her. Oh, that's oh oh dear, you know. It's like ugh. ugh. Ah, are you, to- are you talking about that uh, that uh, witch that was played by a Dutch actress? Uh, no, we're talking about Daenerys uh, as Danish? well. Danish? No, 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 no. The Red Witch. Caris van Houten. That's the that's the that's ah, the, she the was Danish. No, that's she's Dutch. yeah, that's the redhead. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, the one that has Another the amulet one I had on. A crush on. The the, am- the one that had the amulet on to make her look young. Yet she takes the amulet off and she doesn't age. Also. Another plot hole. Yeah, I didn't like it when. Uh, well, I did eventually see her face, and I was like, "Oh, there goes, there goes, there goes, there goes, there goes a crush." <laughs> yeah. Well, she she married an Australian guy, so. Uh... You still got shot, then, Rob. <laughs> Melisandre. Well, it's like. Uh... You know, I always like enjoy watching anything with Famke Janssen in, and then I finally got to meet her. And you know, she's sure she's sixty now, and uh, she definitely looks older, you know, but she still has that wicked twinkle in her eye and that evil yep. smile. And I'm just like, oh, there it is. <laughs> I got to meet her. I got to say hi. Big fan. She says, oh, thank you. That's very sweet. I was just like, yay! I loved you in the faculty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the faculty. She was great in the faculty, by the way. <laughs> and, uh, I loved your legs and James Bond. Oh yes, yes. Oh, totally could have killed. Your th- I hated your thighs, though. <laughs> well, you know, I wouldn't mind have been the the stand-in for James Bond during that day of filming. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, I can think of worse ways to go. Yeah. Yeah. And leather, leather clad in in uh, X Men. And total psychotic bitch in uh, House on Haunted Hill. Yeah, it's a it's a good one. That's that's the one that finally made me understand why people thought, you know, bitchy women were hot. That was that was the one that finally made me understand what the attractiveness was to it. Yeah, so Cindy was like, "Yeah, well, you already met the woman on on your uh, on your list." So, <laughs> funny enough, I met okay. the guy. The guy, you know, you have like a list if if you if you met someone, you're allowed to cheat. You know, mm, no. celebrity no. cheat. No. Yeah, like if you had a celebrity cheat kind of thing. You know, it was it was just a running joke. You know, and I was like, "Ah, oh, Pumpkin Yans," and and now I got to meet her. I was like. She's like, right, we're taking her off the list. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but but funny enough, but funny enough, I've also met the guy that's on her list, who's on uh, Outlanders. You know the 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 Scottish redhead guy, the main actor. Don't know who you're talking about. No. Uh, the TV series Outlander. Anyway, you know he's quite a nice looking yeah. guy. He's a little bit taller than I am, about a head height, head taller. And uh, Sydney was like. Wait, wait, you were on Outlander? I was like, yeah, season four? Like, did you meet? I, I was like, yeah, I chatted to all of them. They were all standing around me while, you know, between filming. And she's like, oh. He's like, yeah, he's on your list. Like, yeah, he's on my list. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, if you've watched any of. Did you tell him you're on my wife's list? <laughs> no, but I actually got to say Don't something say similar. <laughs> if you watch, if you've seen Black Sails. Uh, there's the, there's this one guy who plays a pirate called Bane or Vane, sorry, and you know he's got a very deep voice and long hair, and he's got uh, quite a good look about him. 
you know and uh, he is quite a hit with the ladies and he always talks with like a deep voice you know but he doesn't talk like that normally and uh, I was on a night shoot with him where I had to drag him out of a cell to a court and uh, we were chatting along whatever else and um, eventually I said yeah no my wife really likes you like it's like tell, tell your wife I like her I said oh I will it's like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but he eventually, he got himself written out of the story because um, he wanted to go home, you know, spend time with his kids. He's also got like mm. three daughters and stuff like that. So you're saying like, yeah, they're actually tying him up now so he can, you know, go home. Because he does more voice acting, apparently. In a world. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I'm a bit, uh, I'm a bit disappointed that they didn't use uh, Morgan Freeman for a red uh, guard here in the game. Oh, that would have been awesome. <laughs> Can they afford him? It's like, okay, we could afford Morgan Freeman, so we got uh, Samuel L. Jackson. And the first thing he hears, motherfucker. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh. <laughs> and that's when she knew. <laughs> She'd fucked up. I <laughs> I also wouldn't mind here uh, Jeffrey Rush here in the game. Oh yes, well yeah, Jeffrey Rush was also in. Um... He is very, very eloquent. Yes, uh, he was very eloquent in House on Haunted Hill. By the way, he plays uh... he plays uh, the husband to to Fumpke Hansen's character. Okay, and he's also uh, very good in uh, uh, the thinking. King's Speech. Yes. I mean, he was fun in, in Pirates of the Caribbean, but not yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. He, had, he had some very nice uh, the lines, lines there. <laughs> yeah. We're a little busy! <laughs> I think the eldest actress that you love so much, the young you? Famke Janssen. F A M K E. Oh, there. Yeah, okay, Dutch. Yes, Dutch. Yes. Oh, Dutch woman. Okay. I was trying to put a face to we have a, we have a few. Uh, we have a few good actresses once in a while. Yeah. I was putting, so, trying to put actors a face also, to Yes. A, a, actors also. Uh, we have uh, Rutger Hauer. Who, uh, yeah. Oh, I got, died, oh yes. I got, to, I got to meet him. Really? Rutger Hauer. Yes. Who's that? Oh my god, Danny. Oh, uh, god. Blade Runner. Oh. He plays the replicant. He's the replicant. Before your time. Him? Yes, way before your time. How do you, how do you spell him? Uh, R U T G E R. And it's H A U E R. Yes. Director, dude. No, he's, yeah, he, he's, no, he's not director. He's not no, he's, director. No, he's an actor. Oh, this dude. Okay. Yeah, so I got to meet him on the set of Samson. He played okay. Samson's dad. And I was joking with him. I hadn't realized who he was uh, because he was sitting with us extras. There were only four extras on that day. And so we're all sitting together and he had his slippers on and we were joking about he had his fake beard on and I was joking about him saving his pudding uh, in his beard for later like Mr. Twit. And he's like, oh, no, my makeup lady would be very upset with me. And then eventually, like one of the guys said, OK, OK, Mr. Howard, we're done. I was like, what? Howard, Howard. It's like, ah, ah. You idiot! I was like, oh, I'm so disappointed with my, I'm so angry at myself. You know, there I was joking with him, calling him Mr. Twit and everything. You know, it's like, oh, I was an idiot. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, it was great meeting him as well. He was, he was such a nice guy. Yeah, a uh, a, uh, a cousin of mine uh, was up north once several uh, several years ago, quite a few years ago even. And uh, he was having a lunch uh, outside on a terrace, it was mm -hmm. summer, and um, they brought him uh, his lunch, and then he was looking for the salt and pepper, and he didn't see anything, so he turned around and asked the man that was sitting at the table behind him, he said, excuse me, sir, do you have salt and pepper by any chance? And the man just, uh, you know, grabs, um, grabs his old pepper from his table, turn around, yeah, sure, here, keep it, I don't need any more. Yeah. And he totally forgot to grab, or to take uh, the, the salt and pepper from that man because it was Rutger Hauer. 
The guy was just being able to sit there outside, you know, having lunch without you know, yeah. being bothered by fans or nothing. Yeah. That's nice, though. That's nice for him. Yeah, just be normal people, which they are. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I always thought I I haven't been starstruck. Uh, only until I, I met uh, Rook the Hauer. Because um, mm. I met because um, when on the set for for Black Sails, you have the guy who plays. He's also a James Bond villain, and he's now in the, the TV series uh, Lost in Space. He's the father. He plays. Mm. Uh, he plays the the main pirate in in Black Sails, you know. And I was like hanging around with him, whatever. And I was like, yeah, okay, you know, James Bond villain. That's pretty cool, you know. And then Brook the Hauer, and I was like, wow. And then. Uh, when I was on Red Sea Diving Resort, I got to stand next to uh, Sir Ben Kingsley, and uh, that was oh, that was that was definitely a star structure in that moment because he like he did his lines and he storms out and he was standing next to me. I was like, that went pretty well. I was like, uh huh. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> like uh huh. It's like, and then yeah, I was like, wow. And um, I can tell you also that uh, Chris Evans, yeah, he's not that tall. <laughs> Yeah. You, Captain like America, you shut the fuck up. Yeah, Captain America is not that tall. It takes me up to my shoulders, okay? He'd be short. <laughs> You're very lucky you get to meet all these people. Well, very sometimes like I sometimes take you I, up to your shoulders. I, I you must be short. Yeah, but I mean it's like he was roughly my shoulder shoulder height. Um but he's I didn't get to chat to him or anything like that. There was quite a few people who are just like in the vicinity of and yeah. I don't really get to talk to them. Or usually they will say something to me first and I'll be like, hi. The only person I've actively actually went up and greeted and I sucked up the courage and I got her attention was, was to greet Famke Janssen. I just, I just, mm. I had to, I had to. Yeah. <laughs> You're on my list. Yeah, but also, you know, don't forget, I'm, I'm dressed up as a, as a dirty uh, town, you know, the San Francisco gold <laughs> rush guy. Impression. Yeah, and I've got like the scraggly beard that I've grown out for months on end, and my hair is a mess, and I've got this stupid hat. This is not the first impression I wanted to make on her. Damn it. <laughs> <sighs> oh well. Oh well. <laughs> Yeah, the only time I like I was like that was in the cabin. I was like, oh, oh, oh jeez, wow, yes, uh, understandable. Like, shake, like yeah, because like they just stopped taking pictures, and he was like, no, 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 and I was like, I just want to shake your hand, please, sir. <laughs> Man, I was like, Thank you. Please, sir, can I touch you? Can I touch yeah, I was, you? Like, I was like, I just want to shake your hand, please. I was like. Yeah. Give me your hand! <laughs> they will touch you! I'm your biggest fan! <laughs> He's so chill. I'm going to go watch him again in the play at um, the end of the month. And yeah. Probably during half time. He comes and he mingles with everybody and he has a drink with you. And I was in the bathroom, I didn't even know. So by the time I came to step back down, he was like, my friend just like pats me on the shoulder and she's like, just points. And he's like standing two feet, like two people away. So what from you're me. telling me, Danny, like, is you were in like, such oh. a rush, you didn't wash your hands, and then you touched, no, sir, <laughs> sir. No, <laughs> like, yeah. Never you're shaking his hand. Dirty, never. dirty lady. No, no man. No man. It's just, he's, so, he's so chill about everything. He's just like, yeah, cool. I'm gonna just have a drink with everybody else. And like, oh. yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Well, it's because yeah. you bought the VIP tickets. That's why. No, I didn't even. <laughs> so you stuck like into the that. so you it's stuck good. into the VIP section. Oh. <laughs> no. Because they didn't meet the greet afterwards, and I just had to go queue. Because he was like that was before, and he came to like stand right by our seats, basically, and chatting with people before, and I was like, oh. right. And then at the end, he had like a little meet and greet sort of thing with photos, and then I, I was like one of the last people to be like, no, no more photos. And I was just like, I just want to shake your hand. <laughs> Give me a hand. <laughs> Give me a hand. <laughs> Like, you know, like the Shrek, you're like, I don't know if you've seen Shrek there. Do the raw. Do the raw. <laughs> 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 oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I was just so starstruck. I didn't know what to do. I was just like, I have to. I just have to shake this legendary, like, man's hand. But, then yeah. you say something stupid like, I, I loved you in Star Trek. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> so you think you weren't doing any more Harry Potter movies? You'd be like, what? It's like <laughs> one of my kids made that mistake actually. She was telling me about she's gonna go watch the play. You see, so she was like, 
I'm going to go watch a play that had Magneto in it and Dumbledore. And I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> Wrong! And I was like, I think you're right there. <laughs> like, oh, look at that. You just... Dumbledore. <laughs> you said, that, oh, look at that. You just failed the year. <laughs> yeah. I'm holding Timmy back. Like, you only yeah. make that mistake once. <laughs> I'm like, Gandalf, don't ever come to her with the door again. <laughs> you, oh, he's like, you. unlike unlike some people, you shall not pass. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so you just give me this look, and I was like, don't you dare. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, celebrities, right? Yeah. <laughs> Can't say I, I ever met one, but. I think it's just like, yeah. I mean, I never really expected to meet people doing extra work, you know, because it's like you're the mm. bottom bottom of the rung, you know. Yeah. And, uh, and talk to me, scum. Yes, yeah, pretty much. It's like that Jeff, Jeff Goldblum joke. He's like, you know, I'm out in public and like, you know, people always ask me like, do you pronounce it Goldblum or Goldblum? And I always reply with, how dare you speak to me? <laughs> hey. <laughs> <That's> horrible. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it's Jeff like, Goldblum, it's so it's fun. okay. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna leave it for tonight, guys. I'll uh, see you all next time. Just bad. Cool, cool. Have a good, good night. Bye. 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 Oops. We have to call it soon as well. It just won't give me that I'm last fish. I have bath and watch anything. Awesome. What you watching? I'm finishing off Assassination Classroom. Oh, okay. I see, like the second season of uh, what's it? Making the Abyss. Demons. Uh, that there's a TV. There was a series called I think. Spence? No, it's called no. Abyss, but it's like no. it's called Making Abyss or Make the Abyss or anyway. It's an interesting premise. It looks very kid-like, but they've got this uh the sinkhole that drops mm -hmm. extremely far down, and there are like all these artifacts and and strange things in there that they could sort of find and pull out. But the further down you go, the more pressure builds up. And if you then like head back up, they get affected by the pressure or like the release of pressure. And some people, you know, they start bleeding, and other people have like t uh, internal organ failure. And so, like only only like a small group of people can actually like adventure into the hole. And then they get graded, like you know, um, depending on their experience. Because sometimes you know the kids can go like into like the first level, which is like the first. 100 meters or 200 meters down um, and then like the next level down is like a kilometer down you know and then the next zone is two kilometers down um, and uh, it was quite interesting because at first it seems very childlike and then they start dying and then bad things happen to them and you know it's, it's just like oh okay this is your candy wrapper with poison inside oh, so i'm so waiting good. for this i'm waiting for the second season to come out it's called something the abyss or making the abyss or the words don't quite sound right in is english it a, is it a anime or what yeah yeah oh. it's like the promised neverland as well so you like recommended that. that to me as well i think i downloaded uh -huh. it. i haven't got around to watching really it good. yet okay. i feel so very happy and oh, <laughs> it's not, <laughs> it's, it's not. <laughs> yeah the psychological horror stuff like anime wise is yeah. just so good that's why one of the reasons I love Helsing so much is just so freaking awesome the way they did it. Yes. Helsing Ultimate. It's just freaking amazing. Yeah, I struggle to watch Ultimate because I watched the original and everything's a little out of sync for me. Oh, Although. Ultimate is closer to the manga, though. Oh, is it? Like, Ultimate is like, ex like basically the manga. Oh, well, you see, I don't enjoy reading them. I only enjoy watching them. Neither, but neither do I. It's like what, what they say is like it's more true to. Right. Form. But I mean, I do thoroughly enjoy the redone version of Evangelion. Mm. Yeah, those ones are good. And now the third, the fourth mm. one's now out. I'm just like, I gotta, I gotta see it. I gotta watch it. Mm. Because, uh, I mean, that is. I mean, there's so many theories about that show and all the different versions that have come out and 
how they're not actually different versions you know they're like different different choices that they've made and these are the outcomes and you know every time something gets reset then they start at a, at a starting point and you know then the choices get made again but differently and the outcome becomes different again you know Mm. But uh, also budget. When they first came out with the TV series, they ran out of budget and, and they couldn't yeah. actually end it uh, the way they wanted to. And then when they found a new uh, backer for it, they then made the movies. Um, and then, which is like the end of Evangelion or Neon Evangelion. Uh, and then they've created the new versions, which is the, the 1.11, 2.22, you know. And mm. those are just phenomenal. Mm. So if you have time, watch those. Oh yeah. No, I'm gonna I catch up on all Alan my. Used to uh, herbalize. <laughs> nightmare fuel, dude. Nightmare fuel. <laughs> well, everything was cool until that last season, and I was like, "What the fuck happened here?" Like, I was like, "Oh." They ran out of money. Yeah, they started to... And inter- that guy had inter- a psychotic break. <laughs> yeah, they had like a lot of internalization in that last few episodes, yeah. So, uh, where it was all about uh, Sinji making the choice. And then it was like, okay, no, that's... Congratulations, you made the choice, yay! And then like, fine, that's the happy ending. And then, like, then the movie came out, like, this is what happens when it isn't the happy ending. And it's just brutal. It is like psychologically, you just break because it's just it's a roller coaster ride. Whereas the um, the newer versions are definitely more action based. Yeah, I've got a list of animes. I'm gonna try and catch up with them. Really <laughs> oh, gee, there is no catching up. They just add more to the bottom <laughs> of the list. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> They're all garbage. <gasps> <gasps> Your face is garbage. <laughs> yeah. You heard what I said. You tell him. You tell him. Tell him. Oh, someone's cranky. <laughs> you should be jealous. You don't have any culture. <laughs> <laughs> Grow up. Stop watching fucking cartoons. <gasps> Never. Let me introduce you to hentai. <laughs> yeah. There's a line. There's a line. <laughs> it's about to be crossed. <laughs> desperate times call for desperate measures, Danny. you're busy with john halls of fabrication again are you just repeating still. it oh still it's not that easy no especially if you don't have the right group isn't it? this group is like, good i felt like difficult uh okay didn't, didn't we do it and it was super easy <laughs> we quit it <laughs> oh we did did we we stopped <laughs> yeah Oh, that's right. We just didn't have enough people. We didn't have enough DPS. And I think we're about to go the same fucking way. Balls. <sighs> I can I can feel your concentration, John. That's why I had to ask. Sorry. No, 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 no. There's no apologies. We've basically needed. got the Assembly General down to 13%. And everyone except the tank is dead. Oh, jeez. That's great. Sorry, I was actually thinking it was the... Uh... The Clockwork City one. Yes! But, uh... Got that blue fish now. Moving on. Hello, freaking Luya. <laughs> That's just the oceans in Vardenvald done now. Now to head inland. Oh. Hear me out now. Uh oh. Mm. Put away your pole. <laughs> I like playing Kill with my pole. Fucking Daedra. <laughs> I'd kill some Daedra. Why? What you got? What you need? Nah, I'm just talking shit. You need help <laughs> killing stuff? Specific in mind. That's nah. what I say. You need help killing stuff? 
I am just running around in cold harbor. I should probably do some more storyline stuff. Yeah. But right now, fishing. Because I've still got another 30 minutes of RTM fishbowl to go through. <clears throat> Make it count. I am. Have you actually made it to Cold Harbor yet, Nick? Yeah. yeah. I'm running around in there now. I think I've, I'm halfway through the, the Cold Harbor stuff now, uh, I think. It's like I've freed and, and saved like a few groups of people now, and the mage and the fighters, and I th something else as well. I think I was busy with something else. I just haven't come back. I kind of have to be in the right frame of mind to do storyline. Mm. I think it's, yeah, this is like seventh time I'm, <laughs> no, the sixth time I'm doing the storyline, so I'm Bloody not actually yeah. reading the story at this point, I'm just, just grinding. Yeah, I'll fly through it. Yeah. Kamikaze! <laughs> <laughs> Dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. It was easier than using the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> when you run and jump off them. Oh, there's a cool place in Cold Harbor where you jump off the side of the cliff and you think you're going to die, and then halfway down, it slows your ascent. Oh. Uh oh. -huh. Yeah, there's like a mage who kind of like pops a protective bubble around you and you kind of slowly glide down. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's very cool. It was unexpected. I was like, I'd ridden it off. I was like, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> it's kind of like when we jump off that one thing and it's just nothing but and then eventually you hit water. But if you run too fast, you hit ground. Mm. Come on, Dana. We need a Dana fish. We need a Dana fish. Dan fish. Dana. D A N N A. Dana. Dana. Damn it, Dana. Dana. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Yeah, suck up a punishment. Because uh, you like the attention. Oh no, I can't be tired. I gotta get this one fish. Just this last fish. Come on. Just one more fish. Just one more fish. The fish. I need that fish. <laughs> the fish. I'm gonna go though now because I'm gonna have to go take a test that I can fail and then stay. <laughs> <laughs> one that I'm happy to fail. Uh, the one. I, did you see that uh, thing that I posted about that guy? It's like. He's so excited about getting 100% for that test that he never studied for. Mm. And the look of the face of the of the police officer doing the alcohol test. The <laughs> 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 guy, guy's like, what? 100% alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'll drop it in the Discord, Rob. I know that you're not really using Facebook at all, if at all. That's true. Let's see if I can find a quick like there once every six months. I'll drop it. Cool. I'll check you guys soon. I got that. Have a good one. You too. Go down. Bye. 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 I run all the way up this tower, I aggro every boss on the way up, I get there, I hit the thing, and just as they get to me up from the tower, I jump off the side. <laughs> <laughs> Pitch. Suck it! <laughs> They're all wheezed out. Look at them. <laughs> Bunch of
bunch of dad bods. <laughs> hey, I got a dad bod. <laughs> okay, Rob, I've uploaded yeah. it to uh, art links and stuff. Uh, in the... right, I'll check it now. It seems yeah. they are quite persistent. They're still chasing me. No, 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 at your leisure. <laughs> like now. <laughs> okay. And there we go. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look at this. Wait, where have you put it? Um, in the Geekage group. In Geekage. uploads, links, stuff. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of uh, stuff, you know, from this trial. Yeah. Guess how many master architects I got. None. Not one. <sighs> That sucks. Yeah. Sorry, where did you say you put it, Nick? Uh, in the Geekage group. Discord. Yeah, where? App links, stuff, uploads. Art links and stuff. There we go, yes. Oh, okay. What did you put? <laughs> Cause I, the last thing I've got from there is 25th of June for some reason. Uh, no, if you go to art links and stuff and then you click on stuff stuff oh okay pull up plates and then roll and then okay. s and scroll to the bottom guys i'm up to bed as well this is not happening oh mm -hmm. bye Rob. Right. bye john john bye see john you. See you. cheers bye bye oh sorry the cop holding the breathalyzer yeah me scoring 100 percent on a test i didn't even study for <laughs> the cop holding the breathalyzer <laughs> come on it's good it's even Evangelion, come on! Oh, I didn't even recognize them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just need this one fish and I can go to bed. I'm never going to get this fish, I can see it. Be stuck on the SO all night. <laughs> <laughs> It's already been three yeah, hours that we've been on. That's been crazy. It's three hours of just flown I'm by. I'm going when you're going. I'm going when you're going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, fishy. Actually, I'm going to try and finish this quest, hopefully. Well, do you, either I catch the fish or I run out of the fish bowl. And then I go to bed. So... How much time left you got on the fishbowl? 24 minutes. That gives me time. That gives me time. Destroy the crystal. Ah, yes, I've done those already. Pretty sure I've done those. Yeah, I'm still kind of pretty much in the beginning with this character. I got straight in the legs. Although, when we did the world bosses, I did manage to unlock quite a few way shrines. So. Ah, yeah, that definitely helps. I've made a distinct progress although i haven't done the world oh, damn, i missed that part running world bosses at cold harbor would be pretty cool well if you want to go run it there is a set that i need that uh would come in useful on one of my pvp characters so i'm quite happy to join you ah. i'd like to do that cool now yeah, let's do that maybe tomorrow or something tomorrow is wednesday wednesday I think if something's going on Wednesday, I think so, you know, I might be watching stuff tomorrow. I might you know, start watching Loki. When the first like five oh, episodes yes, comes yes. out, then you know we watch them. Yeah, I like I like going, going season by season. So I'll wait until the show's full season is done yeah. before I peruse it. Yeah, so I do five episodes, and then we wait like another month, and then we download, and then we get the rest, and and we watch the rest then. So otherwise it's one day one a week kind of thing it's like ugh, like normal tv i mean who does that ugh. really actually speaking of which um i still haven't seen the boys <laughs> oh really <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but uh we got a new tv and uh Got got it. Got Prime, because the like the, the TV uh, was on special. Yes. Um, and so it saved money. Just go okay. Go Prime. Use the special. And uh, they they 
they're on Prime, aren't they? Uh, <laughs> yes, I believe so. I think so. Yeah, I should. HBO. No, it might be a tonight. Might be HBO. For some reason in my head, I heard Danny say. Um, it, I think they have it on Amazon Prime. All right. I should probably check it out. Boys TV series. Uh, Sony Pictures. Uh, yeah, yeah, for Amazon Prime. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Enjoy. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do after the CSO run. Let's go, actually. Take a look at the boys. <laughs> it's great. I can't wait for season three to come out. I'm trying to think what else I'm like waiting for. There's not much in the way of TV series that I'm even remotely excited for. I think I just spend so much time watching stuff on YouTube now. It's just like so much easier. <laughs> I mean, I go onto yeah. I mean, I go onto Netflix, right? And I'll scroll through everything, and nothing jumps out at me. Although I did watch uh, a Swedish, Norwegian, Icelandic. Uh, <laughs> That's so obscure. It it was actually it was it was quite interesting. It was, it was uh, what you know one of those slow burn suspenseful kind of things uh, called uh, Kepler or Casa or Casno. I can't quite remember it, but uh, it's uh, yeah pretty bleak. <laughs> it was enjoyable. I. I, I yeah, I watched it back to back, and the characters, and you think things are going to go one way, and they don't, but it's not like, like, super, oh, it's got an incredible twist, it's just that it slow burns to a point, and then, you know, they come to a conclusion, and you're just like, jeez, that was dark, oh, that was, that was morbid, or, you know, it's like, <laughs> uh, the, the no real happy ending, uh, even when they have a happy ending, it doesn't really feel like one, uh, if that makes sense. <laughs> yes, okay. Yeah. Yes! I've got it! 18 yeah. minutes left. Yes. Cool. Now I'm thinking like, hmm, well, I've got 18 minutes. Where's, where's the lake? <laughs> <laughs> you might as well, because you'll forget about it, or it'll go crafting or whatever, and yeah. Yeah. you'll lose it that way. Okay, that's all. I need to go... That could be a lake. Well, that's a mountain. Okay, well, let's see. Yeah, so there is quite a difference uh, using the fishbowl along with your maxed out abilities. That's for sure. So if I just get someone to come fishing with me. Blocking. 
sounds a little frustrated, Rob. <laughs> I got a new HDMI cable, so I've set up my laptop to a bigger monitor. <laughs> um, nice. But the only problem is, it's still kind of like I'm not used to the dimensions. Like I'm still using the laptop's keyboard. Yes. <laughs> um, and so, like, my hands are at different spaces and at weird angles, and so, like, I keep smashing the wrong button. <laughs> Shit, like, man. Yeah. You need to get what yourself a normal size to... keyboard. Yeah, I need to get a, a keyboard and just hook it up via USB and, like, put the laptop in the corner of the room far yeah. away. <laughs> well, I mean, you can bring the... Oh, you can't... Yeah, well, yeah, once you get the keyboard, you'll be able to bring the, the, the lid of the, the laptop down quite a bit. So you're not so distracted. No, I'm not distracted by what's the, what the screen of the thing. Yeah. It's just that I have to keep the laptop close by, but like to use the keyboard, but not where it would normally be in front of me. Like it's basically uh, if you're like looking at a clock. Yes. Like I've got one hand is the 12 hand is got the mouse and that's right in front of the actual screen itself okay and then my left hand that's doing the keyboard <laughs> is like sitting oh. at like nine o'clock right on the side o'clock. yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so, you've got this weird... so it looks like almost like you're playing two different pianos you know like... <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> So my fingers aren't quite reaching the. And also the other thing is I've I've perched the laptop on a couple on. Like the laptop on the cooler isn't enough on this glass table. Right. It actually has to be on two books. <laughs> uh, that I put them on two books um, and then kind of half on the book so that half the laptop is on the books for stabilization yes and the other half has nothing underneath it yeah for the like airflow the cooling pad yes yeah. yeah um and so yeah it's much higher than i would like it and uh, it's just a fuck up <laughs> <laughs> you're throw your back and shoulders out because there's going to be all the funny angles for you it is it is yeah. a weird fucking angles i should just get a new but yeah. I can't afford it because I's poor. Oh, poor. Yeah. Well, I bit the bullet and I ordered my new graphics card. <sighs> Arrives on the 15th. Ugh. It's a RTX. It should be. It's a 6 gig, whereas mine is a, a 2 gig. So there should be like a Ooh. sizable. Yeah. Significant si upgrade. Yeah, I'm hoping so. But uh, Cindy and I had a long discussion about it, and she was like, well, you do kind of need it for work, you know. You know, streaming is work, <laughs> in a way. And, uh, you know, if it makes my computer more powerful, I can then maybe start doing some editing, you know. Some what? Editing, you know, so I can actually maybe editing. edit. Ed yeah, edit for my, my like, uploads oh, for YouTube. And stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, maybe learn to do some editing, and then maybe my computer can then handle it a bit better. And then, mm. you know, start doing that. And then you, you upload those to YouTube and, you know, things like that. Just start expanding on my skills, yo. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do now? Like, um, with your folks closing the, or selling the, the guest house? Like, uh, they sell, sell it on as to like a going concern? Uh, that's so that that's gonna... that that really depends on the person buying it. Uh, they do have the option. They've already bought it. No, 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 no. The, the the initial offer fell through. The guy was dodgy. He didn't pay the deposit, oh, and and he never got back to the lawyers and stuff like that. But we've had two other people come and look at so long, and um, okay. and the one guy's asked for, for the financials and stuff like that. So he seems to be uh, doing taking okay. taking his time and like really sort of, you know doing his fact checking and stuff like that and um yeah but he's looking at running it as a guest house whereas the other group mm -hmm. uh they're looking on someone else's behalf and i think he's just looking for the property um so i don't know if i would stay on i would hope in an ideal world i would get 
uh, retrenched. Mm-hmm. You know, parents would retrench pay me. out. Yeah, get the payout. You know, it's, it's 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 you know, they're in an ideal world that would happen, but I don't see it happening. Um, and then like I get rehired by the new boss. You know, to like stay on for like three months or whatever. You know, for the other people to get used to it, and then they just kick me to the curb. <laughs> um, you know, I, I, you know, doing the the streaming and the YouTubing and doing some occasional like repairs for other people on their houses and stuff like that, uh, is is kind of nice. But it's not, you know, until I become like, yeah, I don't know. Sorry, your Discord cut out there. I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think how, you know, like I've seen some people who now do streaming full time, you know, and mm-hmm. once they threw themselves into it, you know, they budgeted for it and like within like two to three years you know they were then fully established whereas i've seen other people who are like models or actors or whatever they go like hey i'm I'm twitching you know i'm on twitch now you know and like mm-hmm. they're they've already got a fan base and they just swarm to twitch and they straight away go from uh a normal streamer to affiliate to partner like mm-hmm. within two months three months you know kind sure. of thing Uh, because they hit all the requirements almost straight away Um, although I think it's a little bit longer I think it's like takes about six months but still that's not the point you know they basically didn't struggle at at the twitch thing at all and now they're earning money on twitch and uh, here I am a year in and you know my viewership is still you know two three four maybe five if Mm -hmm. I get enough followers and I can meet the requirements to join a team then that would probably help as well so at the moment now I've been working on increasing my following. So the three weeks um, that I had no computer, I was working pretty hard at at uh, building my follower groups. So I went from two hundred and something up to eight hundred. Um, oh wow! And a lot of people, a lot of teams seem to have a requirement of like one thousand followers or one thousand five hundred followers. You know that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So I'm still working on that. Then maybe I'll apply to a couple of couple of them and see if they'll be interested in taking me on if at all. You know, they only reply if they're keen. If they're not, they won't invite you. Um sure. but I was hoping to join the ESO stream team. That yeah, would be cool. That would be cool because we play ESO all the time and they do yeah. play other stuff as well, you know, but ESO is their main jam. And I'm just like, well, that's mm. my main jam. And it would be really cool if I could join. But when I when I first applied, I only had 200 followers. And they're like, well, you got to have like a thousand at least. So don't expect an answer. I'm like, oh, okay. Fair so, enough. At least they were upfront about that. Yes. Yeah. I mean, they stated on, on the form, you know, these are the minimum requirements. Oh, okay. And right, right. Sorry, I thought somebody actually told you that. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> No, 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 unfortunately not. Or um, email. Whatever. And then they said, like, uh, you know, write a motivating letter. I'm like, oh. <laughs> what can I possibly oh, say that someone pain. else hasn't said as well? You know, it would sound so freaking well, generic. Exactly. Copy paste. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the only good thing about uh, I see how it's different is because I hang out with a group of ESO players, you know, and we play together. We have a guild. You know, we're very friendly and forthcoming with information. You know, we're very, we were great on the banter side of stuff. Um, and all that stuff I put in the list. But I'm betting you, they looked at it and said, oh, he's only got 200 followers. Meh. You know. Mm. So I'm working on that. So uh, the one guy who I started following a, a while back, I mean, he said he literally, he, he was miserable at work. And uh, he was six months into casual streaming. And, you know, he saved up and budgeted and whatever else. And within two and a half years, you know, he was now a full-time streamer. Um, you know, and he said it was it was a lot of hard work, you know. It was some days he just didn't want to stream and he knew he had to. And other days he was like, it's been a great joy. But, I mean, he also has a good following of people who always return to his stream. And he doesn't stream every day, which I think is something that... Well, I don't stream every day too, but, you know, they've got a more scheduled approach. You know, my schedule is still like, I'll be on around eight-ish, you know, roughly almost every evening. Whereas his mm-hmm. is like, I'll be on once every three days, you know, kind of thing. Um, 
but I think once you're better, more established, I think that's easier to achieve. So I don't know. I'm still I'm still sure. figuring it out, you know, and seeing what works and what doesn't. It's a steep learning curve because there are so many people joining Twitch, you know, um, that to stand out in that crowd is extremely difficult, and a lot of them kind of get disheartened and leave like within the first four months you know cool <laughs> yeah but i mean you know, i've been at it for over a year already and i'm still here so hopefully that proves something <laughs> you know you just don't know when to quit do I, no apparently not <laughs> <laughs> but also like there's days when i've logged in and then like ah oh, i don't think i'm going to stream and john's like why not if you're playing you might as well be streaming i'm like fine mm. set up stream labs get it going uh yeah. I don't know. I'll keep at it. Nah. It's it's a good hobby. It coincides with what I do already. It makes sense to be doing it, you know. That's just it. You're doing this already. Might as well monetize it. Yeah. Cool. Well I got the blue fish, I don't have the green fish. So I've still got five That's minutes left. Good. Keep bobbing. I'm doing my last minute admin. Okay. <laughs> yeah, five minutes. That's a cow actually just just finished it now so well, it's actually perfect timing well considering that i've only used one fishbowl and i've got oh, one two three done research. <laughs> four five six seven eight of the rare fish in Vardenfall is pretty good that so is after eight out of how many uh let's see three six nine there's 12 rare fish so it's three in the eight ocean out of 12 nice yeah, so it's three in the ocean, three in the lake, three in the river, three in the fowl. And the fish is gone. Okay. That's pretty cool. You follow the river up until it becomes a lake, and then you fish in the lake. Yeah, but I didn't get that last river fish though. Or is it still river? Dilly? No, it's lake. Okay. A lot of wet gunny sacks. <laughs> Not that that Oh, wait, I also picked up a thieves' trove. Let's go turn that in. I'm in the middle of town. I'm not going to open that just yet. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I made that mistake by saying open all. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> disreputable. Disre disreputable. Like, oops, oops, oh, my Get bad. <laughs> it's like 200 gold. Like, oh, no, guys, it was, a, it was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, I'm gonna run from the. Mm. Run from the law. I am the law. Oh, I saw Dread the other day, too. Oh, so good. Yeah, it was alright. I liked it. Yeah, it was great. It was it was raw and visceral and not nearly as cartoonish as, as, as the, as the uh, Sylvester version. Because, mm. I mean, the Sylvester version, unfortunately, you know, they, they, they try to make it look how it looks like in the comics and unfortunately comic to to movie conversion is never really good so i was kind of glad when they brought out dread it was raw Redeemed. and gritty <laughs> and there it was you know granted it didn't make enough money at the cinema mm -hmm. the pop culture and and the followers of 2000 ad and the guys who bought 2000 ad are now making the tv series mega city one 
and oh, uh, Carl nice. Urban has agreed to come back yes. to play Dread. Right, but he's not. Is he, I take it he's not going to be the main character though. Well, he no. I think him. no, no. I think he's going to like come in and out. You know, I think it's going yeah, to follow other kind of cameo. Yeah, but he has been in plenty of other TV series as the main character, yeah, like in true. The Boys and Boys. and one or two others. You know, and he said he wasn't going to take his helmet off to you know show his face because Dread doesn't do that, or if he does, mm. you don't see it. Um, and he kept to it. So I mean, I was waiting for like you know a show of the face or whatever, and he's not. Good. Not once. But like, yeah, man, you're you're the bar. <laughs> I mean, hell, this guy's been in Star Trek. He's been in uh, Lord he's of the Rings. He's been prolific, hasn't he, he? He's been in every sci-fi, you know, genre there is. He's been in it, you know, and fantasy, I think. Yeah. It's always a word. He hasn't been in Star Wars yet. He needs Star Wars. Yeah, that's actually a good point. We better check to see if he's been in any sort of like you know, cameo. Probably like being a droid or something. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Like, what is a stormtroop? Well, don't, I don't. Think, what was it? Yeah, uh, yeah, yes. Uh, Daniel Craig was a, was the stormtrooper in, in Force Awakens. Uh, yeah, and Simon. Yeah, I was just going to say, like, so, so was like Prince Harry. <laughs> yes. And Simon <laughs> Pegg. Princes. Yes. And, si yes. And, and Simon Pegg played the traitor from Force Awakens. The big fat guy. On the, on the desert planet yeah oh 15 seconds left come on I can get a green one or a blue one give me a real one light. 10 seconds quick quick 3 2 1 and oh no it's a purple it's it's a it's a uh, House furnishing. I've been so disappointed. Ah, oh, it's a house furnishing. House furnishing? You yeah. caught a house furnishing? I did, yes. Fish, trout. This is a tiny house item. Furnishing type, traditional furnishing. So I guess that was still good. But now I've got 144 fish to fill it. I'm not doing that now. I'll do that another time. <laughs> I'll just turn on, log in, tell them to start filleting, and then go make some coffee. Right. So, well, ending on a purple is not bad, but yeah. not the color I wanted. <laughs> These are not the droids you were looking for. Yeah. Ugh. God, I hate this fucking chair. It always hurts my arm. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing I need to do is replace this chair as well. Fuck. Don't secret lab. They suck. <laughs> secret lab. <laughs> well, the one that I saw is that macro, and it's also like two and a half grand. I mean, you see those gamer chairs and stuff like that. I don't want those. I need ones with the arms that can actually go up and down. That's wider. These ones go up and down, but I need. I, it needs to be wider than than normal, so that I can actually sit with my legs crossed. Because at the moment with uh, this chair, I sit with my legs crossed, but my knees are still on the armrests, so the angle <laughs> is shitty. It's just like, I'm yeah. Trying to see. Oh, uh, technically. Uh, no, no, no. It's. I can cross my legs, but my my legs are actually they're off, they're off the armrest. Ah, like they're my my knees are in front of the armrest where uh, the armrest is. Yeah, no. You see, what I I need to do is it's I need big to enough to sit cross legged actually. It well, is. your legs. <laughs> ah, that hurts. Hey, shut your mouth. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> Dif different dimensions. Yes, my dimensions are a little totally... bit different. You know what? Actually, maybe that'll make the difference because this this seat fucking hurts my ass. Yeah, <laughs> so put a, why. put a pillow down, so sit cross-legged, and what happens is that actually pushes your back into the the back of the chair more as well. So it corrects your posture, which is quite nice. So give that a go. No, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a little, I can't do that. If I bring that in, then my knees hit the armrest, and then it becomes a problem. Ah, yes. Okay, but well, that's the problem I'm having. But pressure directly on my ass, and... I mean, I'm sitting on a pillow, on a on a blanket that's been layered over and over, like yes. three or four times, <laughs> and it still fucking hurts. Like, I, I don't know what they make the seat out of, but it's, it's uncomfortable. Hell, they make it out of hell. <laughs> I get it. I am out of here. I'll probably check you tomorrow, maybe. Depends if we're watching stuff Catch or not. Catch you later. Cheers. Fair enough. Bye. Bye. Okay. Cheers, guys. I might check you all tomorrow. We'll see.
hang out or with the wifey, although I'm hanging out with the wifey all day, we could probably watch stuff during the day, and I could stream later. Maybe. Anyway, so you all have a great evening, have a great night, have a great day.